Victoria Cougars at the blue line will be Sumner and Keller. The center is Dean Dyer. Left winger is Mike Seaton. Right wing, Ryan Harrison. And the goaltender, Corey Jones. For the Tri-City Americans, Jakes and Shurstanka at the points. Center is James Dean. Left wing, Devin Dirksen. And the right winger is Kyle Reeves. In the pipes tonight, Donnie Blishin. The referee is Wes Smith, and we're just about ready for the first period face-off. And this first period face-off brought to you by AA Lock and Engraving, 220 East Columbia Drive in Kennewick, your hockey memorabilia headquarters. We engrave it like you want it. And now the voice of your Tri-City Americans, Kirk Williamson. Dean and Dyer on the face-off. Dyer wins it, and the Cougars have it along the wall. Harrison trying to get it ahead to Keller. And they do get it ahead, finally, on the right side to number 17, Seaton. He takes a shot. Blish and kicks it away. Puck goes into the left corner. Back up front, top of the slot. Backhand shot. Goes over the top of the net. Puck's loose right beside the net. Now picked up by the Americans. Dean with it. Dean cups the block up along the left wing boards. Tries to get it to Reeves. Can't. It's into the Cougars zone. Dirksen lines up his man. Bang. Dirksen pops Keller beside the net. Back in the behind the net now. Kyle Reeves in a scramble with Dean Dyer. Up to Dean. Dean cross ice left. Shurstanka, his shot. Stopped by Jones. Dropped beside the net left for Harrison. Harrison out along the right wing boards now. Harrison turns, brings it up the middle. Dean and Shurstanka drop back. Harrison all the way down to the right hash marks. Drives one across the face of the net. Goes all the way around through the corner. The Americans have it. Scramble right at the Tri-Cities blue line. Now picked up by Jakes. Jakes brings it up into the Cougar zone. Wheels in from the right side. Jakes slides in behind the net. Crunch against the, the boards. And the puck comes up into neutral ice. We get a whistle. Tripping will be the call from behind the play. It'll be against the Victoria Cougars. And Can't heading, imagine why. heading to the sit bin will be number 19, Scott Blair, or Blair Scott, excuse me. And he was called for the infraction, tripping up Steve Jakes. As Steve Jakes beat him soundly on the left side, going in on Corey Jones. And the only thing that Scott could do is put the stick underneath the skates of Steve Jakes, trips him up. Two-minute penalty, a power play now for the Tri-City Americans. Well, the Americans' power play was sure clicking the other night against the Prince Albert Raiders. It certainly was, Kurt. All four goals that they scored were on the power play, and so far this season, on the extra man, they're at 35%. Incredible. It'll be Sackick on the faceoff against Larry Wu. Sackick kicks the puck loose, and it goes to Jakes. Jakes from the left point, down low to Spenrath. Spenrath beside the net. Cross behind the net now to Reeves. Give and go with Spenrath. They wind up checking each other, and the Cougars fire the puck the length of the ice. That was cute. I don't know what it was, but sort of interesting play down there behind the net. Nice body check by Spenrath on uh, Kyle Reeves. Jake steps out, makes the pass to Farrell. Farrell shovels it ahead to Sackick. Sackick two-line pass. And they'll bring it back into the Tri-City zone. You explain to me what Spenrath was doing with Reeves along the wall. <laughs> trying to get something started at least. Probably trying to, you know, feel what Maybe it's Kyle like. was sleepy. Well, sure woke, woke him up, up I'm sure. <laughs> Just the thought of being checked by Greg Spenrath would wake me up. <laughs> It'll be the manufacturing company line now. Well, no, it isn't. It's uh, Decker and Lindsay with, with uh, Levens as they chase after the puck with Larry Wu there. To fire it back into the Tri-City zone. Picked up by Dirksen. Back to Shurstanka. Dirksen and Shurstanka paired up for defense tonight for the Americans. This one cross ice goes to Devin Dirksen. Fires a neat pass to Levens, but it was intercepted by the Cougar Cipriano there to fire it back into the Tri-City zone. Back behind the net, Dan Shurstanka. He'll step out in front of Trevor Buchanan. Brings it up the left wing. Nice move there by Shurstanka. Goes in ahead of Degner. Shurstanka with it. Left hash mark. Pulls up, looks for somebody, finds Dirksen. Cross ice to the right, Levens. Levy wheels in, back behind the net. He's going to have to go all the way around. A pick from uh, Lindsay Makes the pass for Dirksen, and it's cut off by Buchanan. Buchanan brings it down, drives one at Blishin, and Blishin makes the save. Puck goes in behind the net, or into the uh, left corner. Tri-City zone, pass goes ahead to Levens. Give and go with Lindsay. Picked up by Degner, tried to get it to Levens. They shoot. Blocked by, by Corey Jones. Jones out the right side. One on one up the right. Now comes Mike Seaton. Seaton drives one. And it hits Sandwith's stick. Flushing out of the net to steer it away. Sandwith will pick it up. Sandy comes up the right side to Levens. 17 seconds. Scott Levens going coast to coast offside Lindsay. In just a little too early. 
Billy Lindsay just gets the skate, the skates past the blue line. They whistle him for the offside. Good defensive play by the Victoria Cougars as they started out at about center ice with this floating diamond defense. And then they collapse back into the uh, conventional box, but they also send a guy around the front of the net. And it is causing a lot of problems for the Americans trying to center a pass. They've been able to break up the passes in the slot area pretty, pretty effectively right now, at least on this power play. 14 seconds remain on the extra man for the Americans. McNutt on the faceoff against number 17, Seton. Nutter wins it, goes left to Sandwith. Sandwith takes it in, top of the left circle, centers for McNutt. McNutt tied up by two players, can't get a pass away. Now McNutt with it, back beside the net left side. Steve McNutt up front now to Sandwith. Penalty's over, shot by Sandy. Save Jones, falls on the puck as Calvin Nibbs takes a stick in the nose from, uh, that's number three for the Cougars. Wouldn't you know, the uh, as yet unnamed Peters is his name for Victoria. Face off left circle. McNutt against Zakuski now. And referee Smith goes over to have a word with the Cougar captain. And you're going to see a bench minor on the Cougars. I'll tell you who else isn't on the uh, on the playbook here is Rob Sumner. I don't think, oh yeah, there he is, okay. Looks like a power play, another power yeah, play it'll opportunity. Be a bench minor for not having Peters on the, uh, on the official list. program. That is exactly what it's going to be because they are checking now. Both coaches over there taking a look at their programs and do not see Peters at all. And that's what it's going to be. No listed player, I believe. Yeah. And that's going to come at the 309 mark of the period. Sumner is going to have a word with Wes Smith. And let's see who will go to the penalty box for the Cougars. The only name we got for you is Peters, and that's on the back of his sweater. Well, maybe they're going to just warn him. And I don't see anybody going to the box, Bob. Nope, they're not going to uh, assess any type of infraction on this. you got to be kidding me. It just makes it uh, tough for us broadcasters, that's all. Well, there ought to be a penalty for offending the broadcaster. <laughs> Buck in behind the net in the Cougar zone. Rennie trying to dig it out. Steve Rennie trying to... Jason Peters is his name. He was listed as number 21, so they've had a number change. Jason Destowich is wherever he's, he's not here. Puck shot back into neutral ice. Back into the Tri-City zone. Blish will leave it beside the net for uh, Sandwith. Blish got a big win the other night against Kamloops in uh, Portland. What do you bet that Donnie will see action the next time the Americans play the Blazers? Puck back behind the Tri-City's net. Sandwith trying to outlet. A little hot from McNutt. It's driven back in by the Cougars. Cougars with Baduk standing in front of the net. He gets tied up by Sandwith. Now we get a whistle back in the Tri-City zone. See number 21, Terry Virtue, down there trying to trying to break things up or actually let his presence be known. This is the first time he's had a chance to face his former teammates. And I'm sure there's uh, quite a bit of emotion uh, listed with him. I know I saw a lot of the Victoria Cougars boosters that are up here that made the trip. They have a big sign just right previously before the Americans took to the ice that says, we love you, Terry. And they still uh, think Terry Virtue is quite a personable young man up there in Victoria. Face off out in the neutral zone. Won by the Cougars. But uh, Rankers chasing in on top of John Bentham. Bentham around behind the net. Rankers knocks him down. Puck shot out to neutral ice. Hits Pudlevny. Picked up by Larry Wu. Wu cuts off one man. Dives in. Shoots. Save made by Blishin. Rebound comes out. Picked up by the Americans. And Wu goes crashing into the boards. Cougars cut it down. Cipriano tries to center. Blishin sliding across. Makes a great save as they try to jam it in. Now uh, Larry Wu gets crunched beside the net. Pudlevny... And uh, Rankers made a sandwich out of Larry Wu. Oh. Good night, Irene. A Wu sandwich is exactly right. That's two of the biggest Americans came at the same time, simultaneously put the checks on him right at the post of the uh, goal there. And the helmet popped 
straight up into the air off of Wu and landed back down. But during the melee there, the puck was frozen up by Donnie Glishen and we'll have the face off off to his stick side. Wu is going to feel that one for a couple of minutes, I'm sure. I would think so. Degner to take the face off against number 22, Dean Dyer. Degner and Dyer. Dyer wins it. The Americans steal the puck back. Back in behind the net goes Shostenka. Young man from Edmonton, Dan Shostenka, looks him over, steps out. This is his draft year. Puck goes to Jakes. Jakes back to Shostenka, up the left wing. Quick pass to Degner, cross ice right for Lindsay. Lindsay over skates it, gets hauled into the zone. Puck picked up by Dyer. Stole away from him by Jakes. Jakes getting it to Lindsay offside as Jakes just went in ahead of Lindsay. Uh, we had an official that was uh, completely on the opposite end of the blue line to make the offside call. And Lindsay was shaking his head saying, nope, I had my one skate outside the blue line, which it did look like from up here. We did have the over top angle, but there were two skaters in front of Lindsay, and the official called the outside. They'll bring yep. it back out. Degner and Sackick were both uh, right on the edge of being in, too. Now the Americans keep it in play in the Cougar zone along the wall. They continue to dig for it. Comes out to Lindsay, makes a nice pass to Shostenka. Shostenka shovels it down to the right corner for Lindsay. Lindsay gets popped there by Dyer. Puck in behind the net center for Degner. Degner can't do anything with it. Right hash marks up front. Shostenka, whoops, got by him. At the left point, he fires one in. It's cut down on the slot by the Cougars. Now Lindsay gets it, goes to the backhand, whacks it once. Missed out to Jakes. Jakes drives one in. No. Sackick's tied up. Sack finally gets to it. Keeps it in play, but it's picked up by Dyer. Dyer gets hit by Lindsay. Back in behind the Cougar net. Knocked off his stick by Sackick. Sack trying to center it for Lindsay. Now they'll go racing in there. and Nope, they didn't freeze it. I thought we had a whistle there. Sackick and Lindsay trying to dig the puck loose from uh, Dyer and Bentham. Now Dyer gets it loose. Fires it out to neutral ice. But sure Stanker's there. Makes a cross-ice pass. Knocked down by Seaton. Picked up again by the Cougars. Quick pass ahead from Ryan Harrison. And we got a whistle as the puck crosses two lines. Harrison acquired from Kamloops earlier this year as part of uh, one of those trades. I'm not sure which one. I think uh, that was the first one, the Barry trade, was it not? I think you're right, Kirk. I, I will have to double check on that, but I believe that was the one. You know, this Victoria team, you talk about really struggling. Boy. Lost 16 consecutive contests. They haven't won a game, Kirk, in nearly two months. November the 19th was the last victory they had, and that was against Spokane 3-2 in Victoria. Face-off won by the Cougars. Back in their own zone is Sumner. Rob Sumner, the captain for the Cougars. Cross ice right to Keller. Stolen away by Dirksen. Dirksen has it knocked away. Sandwith takes a shot. Redirected, and it goes right out of play as Reeves took a whack at it and directed it up over the glass. They'll face it off in the Cougars zone. Well, no, they won't. They'll bring it back out to the blue line. Dean with Reeves and... Dirksen now. They move Devin Dirksen up to the left wing with Sandwith and Virtue at the points for the Americans. Donnie Blishen between the pipes. Remember, tickets are on sale now for the All-Star Game January 23rd. That's something you won't want to miss. It won't be back for a while. Dean listed at 5'8 and a half. Loses or has to step out. Zakuski loses the draw ultimately to Dirksen. Puck shot off beside the net as Jones goes back to get it. In the Cougar zone, Zakuski with it. He'll start up the right wing, looking for Baduk. Baduk gets crunched by Dean. Puck's loose at center ice. Picked up by Bandera. Terry Bandera takes a long distance drive and Blishen covers up the puck. Puck's loose beside the net. Now Blishen will cover it up again. Where'd that come from? Went in behind the net. And Blish had to scramble to get it. Donnie Blishen coming up very big right there as he had lost control of the puck. He had the blocker pad using the, the big glove, the trapper glove, and trapping it on his blocker pad, trying to at least get it out so he could scoot it around the back of the net. Well, when it popped back out, number 11, John Baduk was there, and it popped right back out. He had to straight skate back into the front of the net, Donnie Blishen did, and was able to cover it up on a halfway attempting centering pass by Baduk, and it almost proved to be fatal for the Americans there. Boo and McNutt, early first period, no... No score in the hockey game. Nutter wins the draw. Up along the left wing to Nibs. Nibs just feathers it out to center ice. Peters is back for it. Rennie screened by the linesman, but McNutt there to steal the puck. McNutt into the Tri-City zone. Dumps it low. Rennie racing after it. He's being tied up, worked over by Wu, so he does a little work of his own on Peters. Puck comes along the wall. Bang! But Lovney just buried Buchanan. In front, shot blocked once, twice. 
The Americans try to center again. Rennie whacks at it, misses. That was Nibs who went in behind the net. Now the puck comes loose to Cipriano. Mark Cipriano one-on-one -on -one with Podlobny. Shoots, scores! He hit a rocket. Lubber dumped him in the corner, but Cipriano on a one-on-one -on -one gets the Cougars on top first. Mark Cipriano going basically one-on-one -on -one against David Podlobny. Podlobny doing the right thing, keeping to the middle so that he could force the play to the outside. In that situation, Mark Cipriano took it right down on the left side, and he let one fly. And I mean, it had rocket right behind it, and it went right through the five hole, low to the ice, probably two inches above it, and it nestled right in the back, right-hand side of the net. Victoria jumped out on top, one to nothing. And the puck on the faceoff is shot right out of play. Cipriano's goal will go. Buchanan will get an assist on the goal. And the Cougars lead one to nothing. That comes at the 7.08 mark. Trevor Rinkers will face off against Dyer at center ice. Face off won by Dyer, picked up by Keller. Dumped in left of the Tri-Cities net. Back for to Shurstenka. He goes around behind. Dan Shurstenka. Goes to the right, now starts up the left side. Shurstenka up the left wing. Dumps it into the Cougar zone. Jones will have to come out and dive on it under a lot of pressure from Spinrath and Levens. Jones came way, way out of the crease to his right-hand side, your left as you look on from center ice, and uh, covered up the puck. One to nothing, Victoria. Another situation, Kirk, where the Americans are finding themselves trailing in the first period, and of course most coaches would say that that's uh, a detriment to the team that it, it would stall you. But guarding coach Rick Kozovac, he thinks that is a benefit for this team. They play a lot harder when they find themselves trailing or tied up. Left circle Cougars on for the faceoff. It'll be Rankers and Dyer. Now Rank or Dyer's going to get the thumb. And in will come number 17, Mike Seaton. Seaton, an American from Atherton, California. Faceoff, won by Seaton, picked up by the Cougars, shot to neutralize. Foot race is on. Blushing's going to have to steer it out of trouble. Slaps it off the glass, picked up there by Dyer. Dyer back and tries to feed it into his own zone, picked up there by Harrison. Harrison left to the net with the puck in the left point. Big crunching hit on Harrison. The Americans able to slap it out to neutralize. Blair Scott with it. He gets popped by Rankers. And Shurstenka has the puck. Brings it up the left wing boards. Dan Shurstenka, headman pass left to uh, Levens. Levens tries to muscle his way in, turns around, shoots a pass to Shurstenka, who overskated it. Shot by Jakes, hits somebody in the backside. Back up to Jakes. Jakes goes to the backhand. This time it's directed wide of the net by a, off a body. Now slapped off the glass, knocked down by Dyer. Cross ice right to Seaton. Good give and go with Dyer. Dyer right side shoots, hits Blishin in the pads and goes off into the corner. Up front, Levens tried to force it to the corner. Knocked away, knocked away from him. The Americans have it. Shostank is slamming it back out to neutral ice. It'll be icing when, nope, Corey Jones had to play it. So Peters will get to it. Brings it up to Baduk. John Baduk, cross ice left. He goes to Bandera. Bandera trying to center for Zakuski. All the way across ice. Sackick taken off the play. And the Americans turn three on three. Cross ice pass right to Lindsay. Lindsay hit a skate with the puck. And Sackick there to slap it into the Cougar zone. Along the wall. Lindsay and Degner go after it. Back up front now. Whoops! That one got away from Virtue. Slap back into the Tri-City zone. The Americans have to clear. Or back into the Cougar zone. And Sumner has it. Cross ice right to Peter. Shoots it ahead now along the wall to Baduke. Baduk still has the puck, slaps it into the Tri-City zone. As uh, Virtue goes back to pick it up, Bandera's all over him. Virtue turns. He's a former Victoria Cougar. Bangs one off the wall. Back to neutral ice. Picked up there by Peters. Jason Peters with the puck. Shoots it ahead across the left side. To... And it's stolen away by the Americans. Two on one. Degner Sackick scores! No! The puck was knocked loose and it came back into the corner. Into the Tri-City zone will be icing. I thought, sure, that one was in. Sackick followed through just like he'd made the shot. As it turned out, it'll be icing in the Tri-City zone. Cougars lead one nothing. We'll be right back. Looking for a computer and want the best buy around? It's not at a warehouse. It's not at a discount store. It's not even mail order. It's at Kennewick Computer. 
like our 386SX computer system with 40 megabyte hard drive and crisp VGA color graphics. You could mail order this from CompuAd for $25.39 or buy locally from Kenwood Computer for just $19.95. More features, better service, less cost, financing available at Kenwood Computer next to Griggs Furniture in Columbia Center North. On the faceoff, puck shot around behind the Cougar net. They dig for it in the corner. Dean losing it now to Bendera. The Americans get it right back. Dean a shot. Went for the long side, just missed. A couple of inches. Dirksen hit along the wall by Cipriano. Dirksen and uh, Dean tie up the puck. Now it's knocked in behind the net, picked up by Bentham. Bentham turns, fires a pass ahead to Wu. Wu has it stripped away. Dean with it. Whoop, Dean taken off by Keller. To Cipriano, his pass goes bad. Now Reeves breaks in. Reeves takes it in behind the defense, flips him, and, Dirk, and Dirksen can't get there to clean up. Reeves takes another shot, goes right across in front of the net. Fired back down low one more time. Kyle Reeves after it, comes out to Dirksen. Dirksen tried to center, had a man right there, put Lubney, and it bounced over his stick. Here come the Cougars the other way. Lubber takes two guys out. Unfortunately, they're his guys, but the Cougars wind up offside. Headlong rush by Trevor Buchanan. Former Kamloops Blazer. And it was Dave Pudlebny that really caused all that to happen to get the Cougars in offside. Actually, if Dave Pudlebny hadn't have slid like that, it would have been a, a, a rush by Buchanan in there all by himself. By forcing that play to go outside the blue line, it uh, caused one of the Victoria Cougars to get in ahead of Buchanan. And that was the offside call right there. McDonough against Dyer on the faceoff. Shot back into the Tri-City zone. Blish will leave it for Jakes. Jakes back behind the net, steps out to the right side. Brings it right straight up the middle. Steve Jakes brings it up in a hurry. Jakes going coast to coast. Jakes a drive! Off the stick of Corey Jones. Puck into the corner. Nibs and Rennie race after it. R Nibs, Rennie, and McNutt. Now Rennie out front. Shurstenka in the slot. Knocked down in traffic and is covered up by Corey Jones. Shurstenka right on the doorstep. But McNutt was there too and the two of them wound up knocking each other off the play. Tri City Americans trying very hard to get something into the net. They have had a lot of opportunities, but they are trying really probably too hard right at this time. They've got to settle down just a little bit, make the passes a little bit softer in that slot area, but with enough crispness behind it that you can get it to the stick and they're able to shoot. But right now, the Americans try a little too hard. Maybe they can settle down a little bit, get the crowd behind them. McNutt and Dyer on the faceoff. Faceoff won by McNutt. Puck in the Cougar zone. Now Dyer slaps it up into the crowd. Tried to backhand it out into neutral ice. I'll tell you, the guys that are really working hard for the Cougars right now, especially number six, Rob Sumner, big defense captain for the uh, Victoria Cougars, and he's down there pushing and shoving and trying to make his presence felt, but he's had to go through a lot of work to help uh, keep Corey Jones uh, from getting molested by the Americans right now. Dyer and McNutt on the faceoff, right circle, Cougar zone. McNutt wins the draw, quick wrist shot by Nibs, and Jones falls on the puck. Calvin Nibs from the right hash mark just snapped one at Corey Jones. That was on the button. Every once in a while you see one of those go in. That's exactly right. Those are very difficult to stop. You don't know if he wants to crank up for the slap shot or if he uses that wrist shot, but that little snapshot he has is just as effective. Face off, right circle again. This time is won by the Cougars. Rob Sumner with it, brings it up the left wing board. Sumner will have to wheel back with that forechecking all over him. Now Jakes will get into the buck first, Nibs there. Shoots it right into a body. Back to Nibs. Cougars take it away. Harrison, two on one with Jake's catching up. Harrison drives, scores! Harrison beat Bush in exactly the same place Buchanan did. Wow. Harrison coming down on the two on one. When you have good four checking, you can open yourself up to the breakaways. And that's exactly right what happened. A two on one situation as the Tri-City Americans defense trying to get back there. Harrison goes in on the left side and he shoots the puck and went straight into the net. Uh, just catches the right corner. Just gets by Donnie's Bush's pad and it sits right in the corner and Victoria now leads two to nothing over the Tri-City Americans. Dean Dyer on the uh, assist. Ole Kolzig will step into the crease for the Americans and Don Blishen will come out. Kolzig skates on. Blish will come out. 
My guess is that Blishen is going over to have a word with the goalie shrink, Jim Craig, and will probably be back. I see Coach Koza back now. We're going over there to sit down and have a talk with him. Holy Kolzig touches all the pipes. He's ready to play a little hockey tonight. Face off, won by Rankers. The Americans taken off his stick, though, by Bendera. Driven in beside the net. Sandwith back there to pick it up. Sandwith fires it in behind the net to uh, Virtue to Levens. Levens turns off the right wing boards. Headman pass to Spenrath, and Rankers is right in the way. Spenrath will have to hustle to get to it. Drops it off the boards for Trevor Rankers. Rankers shoots it in behind the net. They catch Jones back there, and there's a smash sandwich for you. Levens and Spenrath as they put a little crunch work on Keller. Now the puck picked up by Spenrath. Goes back right to Virtue. Virtue along the wall. Keller belts him. Virtue loses his stick, almost his headgear. And uh, Virtue comes off. New defenseman is on. That's Farrell for the Americans as Levens goes in. Shoots the long side, misses. Farrell will take it off the wall. Chip it down low for Rankers. And the Cougars have it. Now Keller able to fire at the length of the ice. It'll be icing when it comes off to Sandwith. Touch icing. He gets it, makes the touch. 2 nothing Cougars. You're listening to Americans Hockey on KTCR. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if my microphone will work, the new Miss Tri-Cities 1989 is Columbia Cable. Proudly presents highlights from the 1989 Miss Tri-Cities scholarship pageant. Sunday, January 14th at 8 p.m. With special permission from the Miss America pageant, Mr. William Caligari, National Program Director. Again, highlights from the 1989 Miss Tri-City Scholarship Pageant, Sunday, January 14th, on Cable 15. Larry Wu and Terry Degner on the faceoff in the Cougar zone right circle. Both teams in full strength. Becker's there's only been one penalty in the whole first period. Degner now and Buchanan will face off. Buchanan wins the draw. Cougars fired up to the right point, put Labney there, knocked away from him. Lover tries to keep it in play, can't stick down on the ice. Sackick able to backhand it into the Cougar zone. Foot race is on. This time Jones comes out, but Levney makes a shot. But Lindsay unable to get the redirection right in front of Jones. Lindsay being tied up by Scott Blair, or Blair Scott rather, and the Americans able to slap it back loose. Lindsay, one on one. Lindsay beats his man. Lindsay can't get the shot away though, as he's taken hard to the boards by Blair Scott. Now Lindsay and Scott continue to have a couple of. Uh, words down behind the Cougar net when Billy Lindsay bounces off that right wing wall he can make some things happen he certainly can he's got the power in his skates and he's got some strong legs for just the size that he is and boy when he moves it around in a, a great upper body strength as well he's able to come in and try to make things happen and he likes to go into his off wing and try to take that shot in he's been successful on it a lot of times this year right there he wasn't and Blair Scott checked him right into the board Dean and Dyer. Dean wins the draw. Shot taken out front by Reeves. Kind of a backhander. And uh, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was Dean. And uh, nothing happened. So they'll face it off again as the puck was frozen beside the net. Jim Dean, 5'8", 170 pounder against Dean Dyer. Dyer looks to be maybe close to six foot, 195 or so. Now on comes Dwayne Keller for the Cougars. Dyer spins in front of Dean. See how much lower James Dean is to the puck, and he's been sent out, and that, that's not good, but that's one of the key reasons he wins so many faceoffs. In comes Dirksen. Dirksen wins it. Americans fired in behind the net. Dean tried to short side it, wouldn't go. Puck's loose beside the net. Reeves has the puck in the air, and it's frozen there. Now Keller puts another little hit on Reeves after the whistle, and the linesman wiped out trying to get to uh, Reeves. And if that's what I think it is on the ice, is that a whistle? Yeah, okay. That's what it was. I thought the linesman had skated over something that had been thrown on the ice. And I'm in favor of people who throw stuff on the ice to get somebody hurt. Of taking them out, part of them out that exit, and part of them out that exit, yeah, yeah. and part of them out back there. I think that's uh, not a good thing. 6:36 to go, first period here at Tri Cities Coliseum, doing a little repair on the ice with the Cougars leading two nothing. We'll be right back.
it is impossible to guess when they're going to get things done. And uh, in that case, on the faceoff, a shot taken by the Americans blocked by the Cougars at the blue line. A full-length race by the Cougars as uh, Dyer makes a neat pass across the ice. And the uh, Cougars, Mike Seaton, able to chip it in from uh, the left side of Ole Kolzig. That was a beautiful shot by Mike Seaton as he was able to get that pass over from Dyer. And Dyer just put it right on the stick and in, in full motion was able to chip that up into the net. Mike Seaton gets the marker. Victoria now leads 3-0. Dean Dyer at 13-35. 13.35, the time of the goal. The Cougars have another opportunity, but the Americans cut them off at the blue line. Now McNutt has it stolen away by Zakuski. McNutt with it along the left wing boards. McNutt turns, brings it up, cuts to the middle, overskates the puck. Zakuski has it, and Virtue buries him. Big hit on McNutt now as he tries to get the puck back. Sumner with it. Sumner dumping it in left of the Tri-Cities net. Kolzig will stay in goal for a minute or two. He had little or no chance on that two on nobody as Scott chops the puck back into the Tri-City zone. Back beside the net. Kol Kolzig pokes it away. And the Americans bring it up one more time. This time McNutt tried to get it to Nibs. Couldn't. Scott goes back to pick it up in his own zone. Slaps it off the wall. Big hit by Levins there on Bendera. And Levy goes for the puck. Levins to his knees. Being tied up by Blair Scott. Levins trying to fight through the checks. Can't. Two men down. Pucks loose. Rankers has it. Rankers. Tried to chip it out to Levins. He does. Levins with it. Laser for Spenrath. He charges in. And Jones makes a save with bodies all over the ice. Now Levins takes a little shove at Zakuski. The Americans are sending their guys down into Whoa, the middle there. Rankers just pop Bandera. The Americans have got to play cool right now. They've got to keep their heads in this because if they put a guy in the penalty box right now and a key player in the penalty box what can happen is is that victoria now has a three goal lead and that's just maybe the spark they need they yep. have they have absolutely nothing to lose and everything in the world to gain this is a team that is so hungry for a win they'll do just about anything to get it and right now with a three nothing lead they can afford to send a, a guy that doesn't uh, play as much and doesn't have the big stats like some of these other guys to chase down some of the americans the americans have got to be on the lookout for just that kind of play rankers and larry Wu on the face-off Rankers, the 17-year-old, listed by the Americans, then uh, dealt to Niagara Falls, and now back with the Americans. As Rankers takes a shot in front of Farrell, blocked up front, Spenrath saves it. Spenrath goes right to put Levney. Lever tried to force it in, taken away from him by Buchanan, left it neutralized for Wu. Wu gets belted by Pudlevny. Scramble for the puck as Harrison has it, or poke checked away from Cipriano. Puck is still loose. Cipriano now drives it into the Tri-City zone. Back for it, Farrell. Cross ice right to put Lovney. Lover brings it up to Levens. Levens to Rankers. Long distance shot. Rebound comes out. Left side to Spenrath. Drop back pass. Spenrath to Levens. Levens crunched behind the board. Spenrath throws it across the slot. All the way around to Cipriano along the boards. Cross behind the net to Peters. Peters gets popped by Spenrath. Levens hits his man. That's Buchanan. Now we get a whistle, a penalty from... Uh, High sticking will be the call. And it's going against the Tri-City Americans. The Just Ameri what needed not to happen. Exactly. Now, the Americans now will have to go on the penalty kill. And Scotty Levins will be taking a seat on the pine for a couple of minutes. Just what you would think that the Americans would try to be looking for is not to do that. And unfortunately, they, they get so emotionally involved with this and try so hard to try to get something going that sometimes they uh, take a, a mistake and it, and it grows bigger and bigger and... Eventually, the whistle's going to be blown, and that's what happened, and there's going to be a power play for the Cougars. Rennie and Dean Dyer on the faceoff. The Americans going with their best. Rennie wins the draw, fights through, goes back out to neutralize to Shostenka. Shostenka fires it into the Cougars' zone. It'll go in behind the net. Jones will leave it there for Sumner. Sumner leaves it for Dean Dyer. Dyer bringing it up the left wing boards, cuts to the inside, now goes back outside, being hooked by Nibs. Nibs steals it away. Calvin Nibs, Nibs and Rennie. Rennie with the puck. Rennie left circle. Steve Rennie. He's tied up by the Cougars one more time. Victoria. Dyer stolen away by Nibs in the slot. Nibs shot. Just misses to the left side. Rennie goes in. Big crunching hit there. Seaton with the puck. Drops it low as Rennie crunched Dyer. Rennie goes in with Seaton. Seaton brings it out. Goes cross ice right to Dyer. Dyer brings it up. Dean Dyer. 
Gets cut off by Jakes. Jakes gets slapped by Harrison. Puck back into the Cougar zone. Sumner turns away from Sackick and wipes out. Degner dives in on Sumner. Takes him to the wall. Bang. Puck's tied up there as Sackick tries to get it loose. Now it comes squirting out along the boards. To the left of the net. They're in the left corner. Harrison with it. Turn steps in front of his own net. Brings it up. Ryan Harrison on a foot race up the left wing. Knocked away from him. But picked up by Mike Seaton. Seaton across the blue line to the left side. Seaton to the left. As you look on from center ice. Seaton being worked on by Degner. Give and go with Cipriano. And the puck shot back beside the net. Now comes out Jakes to uh, Sackick. Sackick cross ice pass for Sandwith. Sandy wheels in. Sandwith in front of the net. Tried to center. Pucks loose. Degner wax at it. Missed. As Corey Jones caught in a scramble. Sackick off the wall. Farrell drives one in, but it hits the body. Now Degner goes after it. Degner tries to slap it back up to Farrell. Can't do it. Taken away from him by Seaton. Six seconds left in the power play. Seaton blue line. Seaton a drive. Misses wide to the left side. Puck comes all the way around to the right. Cipriano with it. But Farrell there. Farrell headman. Levins. Levins one on one. Levins makes a pass to himself, but he can't quite catch up with it. Levins keeps the puck along the left wing boards. Levins with it in the slot. Shoots. Loose puck. Rennie hits the pipe. Puck in behind the net one more time. Levins will go off as Rennie turns. Rennie with it. Back up front now to Scott Farrell. Farrell shoots it right in Baduk's face. Loose puck. McNutt. McNutt tried to find Nibs. He saw the diving player. Tried to shoot it over him. Couldn't quite get it done. Virtue wheels back to pick up the puck for the Americans. Shoots a pass. Cross ice left to Nibs. Nibs. Two on three. Rennie in the slot on the drop pass. Rennie slapping it low now to Calvin Nibs. Nibs grinds it up in the corner. Big hit there. Shurstanka shoots it in. Left of the net. Puck kicked away by Corey Jones. Cougars shoot it out, but Jake's there to knock it down. Finds McNutt. Drop back right side to Nibs. Nibs a shot. Hits the body and goes up over the net. Shurstanka. Shurstanka dribbles it in to, to Rennie. Loose puck. They slap it off the wall. Shurstanka keeps it in play at the left point. Shurstanka. Walks down to the left hash mark. Tries to drive in. Can't. Puck's in the air. Picked up by the Cougars. Shurstenka knocked down. Three on two. Here come the Cougars. Right up the middle. Harrison. Defenseman pinch him. And they cross right from the slot. Over skated by Larry Wu. And the Americans bring it up. A minute to play. Three on two. Nibs drops it for Shurstenka. Shurstenka back to Nibs. He fanned on it. Back in behind the net. Calvin Nibs leaves it for Levins. Levins tries to stuff it. He's tied up. By Buchanan. Levy trying to dig the puck loose. Levins and Rankers. Now Levins has it. Looking for Sackick out in the slot. Finds Jakes to the right side. Jakes with it. Goes cross ice. Hits a skate. Backhanded out to neutralize. Jakes will knock it down. And it was played off a high stick, they say. And they'll bring it back for a face off and neutralize with 28 seconds to go. You know, the Tri-City Americans have got to start taking the shots when they're there and able to take them. Right now, again, the, the point that's going to be made, I'm sure, in that dressing room is, is that you guys are trying just a tad bit too hard. You're trying to make things happen that aren't even there, and they want to get that fancy goal. There have been at least six opportunities in just the last couple of minutes that they've had that have actually been quality shots, Yeah. and they have not taken them. Face-off, won by the Americans, picked up by Dirksen. Dirksen, right point. Dirksen takes it in, shoots it in toward Jones, and Jones will cover up. Face-off, right circle, Cougar zone. I do have to compliment, though, the Americans' penalty-killing team. Once again, Boy. being incredible, that the hard-working guys that they are, it took, in that power play Victoria had, it took them one minute and 17 seconds to even cross the blue line into the American zone. That tells you how good of a penalty-killing team the Americans have. But the Cougars are on top, 3-0. Late first period. As Rick Kozabak could say, they got us right where we want them. Dean on the face-off against Rob Sumner. 20 seconds to play. That'll be... Uh, Dean and Dyer on the faceoff. Now Dyer gets the thumb, and Mike Seaton will step in to face Jim Dean. Watch James Dean. Look how low he gets. His center of gravity is just so low. He's like well, he starts out fairly low. <laughs> Quick shot by Reeves. Hit the pipe. Goes ringing off into the right corner. Reeves with the puck, and they tie it up. Reeves and Dean continue to try to dig it loose. Dean out front. Fairly shot. Loose puck on nice save by Jones. Five seconds remaining, and the Cougars fire it out of play. 
two seconds remaining. Well, the Americans have had some chances. They certainly have, and, and you keep on doing that, taking the shots. That's the big key right there. Take the shots and you get them, and eventually the numbers will be in your favor. The more you put the, uh, the opportunities you get there, the chances of it going in are, are greater. Two seconds remaining in the period here at Tri-Cities Coliseum. Three nothing, Victoria leading the Tri-City Americans. Now Reeves and Cipriano having uh, a discussion. I wonder when the last time Victoria had a 3 nothing lead at the end of the first period. Also, you might be interested, I don't know. Maybe never. It'll be Dyer and Dean. Cipriano, incidentally, is in, in Canadian is Cipriano. Dean and Dyer, quick shot on the face off just over the net. It was taken by Podlebny and it was just a little bit high as time ran out in the period. So the score at the end of one, Victoria three, Tri-Cities nothing. This week, the greatest disappearing act in the history of Eastern Washington will occur. Over 150 brand new Toyotas, Chryslers, and Plymouths are going to vanish from Simpson of Tri-Cities. Because until December 31st, every brand new 1990 is an unbelievable $4.99 over dealer invoice. Plus, your trade will be worth more right now. Because Blue Book values change with the new year. Simpson does not want to carry these new cars and trucks into next year's inventory. Make a magical deal today during the great disappearing act at Simpson of Tri-Cities. the Americans, Farrell and Virtue at the point. Yeah, sure enough. Zero mark. Zero zero, a bench minor for being late. And that will be served by, well, let's see who. I would venture to guess, folks, that uh, Rick Kozabak just didn't have a chance to say all of the things that were on his mind as Devin Dirksen steps into the penalty box. And we're ready. Face off, one by Rennie. Cougars with it as they work it up along the right wing boards and a two line pass made ahead to Mike Seaton. So the face off will come back inside the Cougar zone. Corey Jones defending to our right. Ole Kolzig defending to our left. I kind of expected to see Don Blishman back. I did too. Uh, Kirk, I didn't expect uh, Olaf Kolzig to work the rest of this contest, but obviously they've got some different thoughts than we do down there at the bench. Guess that's why they pay the coaches the big money, eh? Exactly. Face off, one by the Cougars. That's Cipriano. Mark Cipriano turns, starts to bring it up, looks left, goes left to uh, Dean Dyer. Dyer across the blue line, backhands a pass in in front of Kolzig. Kolzig slaps it right back out to neutral ice. And they'll race back to get it. Dyer picks it up, nibs all over him, and we get a two-line pass. I think, it, no, couldn't have been. Faceoff comes back into the Cougar zone. Explain that one, Mr. Rulebook. Hi, I got it. We, we just got it told to us. It yeah. High stick. Oh, all right. Played off a high stick. <laughs> yeah, all right. I didn't see any kind of a signal from referee. I didn't either, to be honest West with you. Smith, Rennie, and Dyer. They do this all the time in Canada. Somebody blow the whistle, they'll skate somewhere, throw the puck down, off they go. You don't have a clue. Puck into the corner left of the Victoria net. Cougars trying to dig it out. They do. Dean Dyer goes back behind the goal now and starts up the left wing boards. Bang, Rennie just belted him. Puck's loose, but it's picked up again by Seaton. Seaton racing down into the Tri-City zone right point. Seaton has it taken away from him by Rennie. 
and uh, Shurstanka, but the puck comes up to the top of the right circle. A drive. Colson kicks it away. Puck goes back out to neutralize Rennie in a foot race with uh, Mike, S with Rob Sumner, rather. Sumner will chase it down back in the Cougar zone. Sumner starts up, up along the wall now to Dyer. Dyer goes cross ice to the right side for uh, Ryan Harrison. Harrison loses the puck at center ice. Sumner with it. Knocked down off of Sackick's stick. Back up front now. Sumner goes to the right side to Seaton. Back up to Sumner. Sumner a blast and it's over the net. Back up to the left point. Knocked away from Peters by Terry Degner. Sackick out of neutral ice. Drops it back into the American zone. And Degner looks for a lane. Drives it the length of the ice. It'll ricochet off behind the net now. And uh, be left by Corey Jones for number 19. That's Blair Scott. Scott brings it up, goes to the left side, almost gets by Virtue, but Cipriano there to pick up the, pick up the puck to Seaton on the right side. Farrell pops Seaton, and Lavins just buries him in the corner. The Americans with it again. Virtue tried to slap it off the glass, and instead he slapped it off of somebody's noodle up in uh, section, up in the P section there, down uh, about eight rows deep. Yeah, they got themselves a souvenir out of that. You got to be careful, fans. If you're here, make sure that you keep your eye on that puck. But sometimes you look up and see that thing coming, and that section would be aptly named. Faceoff will come in the left circle in the Tri City American Zone. Your left as you look on from center ice. Holy Colzig's right or stick side. Those two shots have resulted in the Cougars' first goals were about as perfectly placed as you could possibly place them. They were a pair of bullets as Blushin had come out of the net to take the uh, angle away. And uh, that leaves a little tiny space along the long side of the net, and that's where both of them went. Puck shot the length of the ice back into the Cougars' zone. Dirksen steps on as power plays over. So we're uh, Cougars are 0 for 2. Victoria brings it up right side to Wu. Larry Wu, a shot. Kolzik slaps it off the glass to Levens. Levens losing it to Harrison. Harrison throws it out in the slot. Threw it the length of the ice back into the Cougars zone. Foot race is on. Keller will get to it. Keller behind his own net. Keller starts up, bangs one off the wall into the Tri-City zone. It'll be icing when Farrell touches the puck. And 3-0 Cougars, early second period. Icing the call will be right back. The stuff you like through the years. Your first friend. <laughs> your first bike. Your first 45s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your first set of wheels. Your first means of self-expression. Your first good stereo. The first channel for you. VH1, the stuff you like. Shot on the faceoff, Jake's from the right point. He is covered up by Corey Jones. Jones has played very well against the Americans, twice as a Victoria Cougar, and once on loan to the Portland Winterhawks about a month ago down in Portland. Why I couldn't find Portland's other goaltender the other night. They had Jones as an emergency uh, situation against the Americans, much like they had Blishin last week from the Tri-Cities. Puck shot into the Tri-City zone. It will not be icing because Bendera will get to it first. He goes down. Shurstenka with a puck to Jakes. Back behind the net. Steve Jakes will bring it up. Jakes, quick headman pass to Reeves. Goes under his stick. Cross ice left. Bendera. Reeves lines Bendera up. Bad pass into neutral ice. Picked up by Shurstenka. Reeves and Shurstenka go in. Reeves in the slot. Score! Oh, Reeves! Reeves just a sniper shot from about 12 feet away. Kyle Reeves with the marker there to get the Americans on the board tonight. Kyle Reeves was straddling the blue line, enabling Danny Shersteka to get right over top of it. Danny Shersteka goes up to the left point, turns around, sees Kyle Reeves coming right down the slot, was able to put it right on his stick. Kyle Reeves turns around, faces up to the net, lets one go, goes high up into the upper shelf of the net and the Americans get the goose egg off and they still trail Victoria by two. It is now Victoria three and the Americans one. Kyle Reeves, the assist will go to Shurstenka. And the Americans have broken the goose egg. 
Victoria leading. Now the puck stolen away by the American Sackick and Degner. Sackick, Degner, Lindsay. Lindsay goes down. Comes off the right wing. Shoots. Scores! Billy Lindsay! When it rains, it pours. Lindsay and Sackick take it down. Lindsay bounces off that right side and does what he does best. That's exactly right, Kirk. Billy Lindsay going in using that upper body strength gets around Dwayne Keller, defensive man for Victoria. Uses Terry Decker as a decoy in the middle of the slot. Decides not to go ahead and pass it, but take the shot. It goes right on the short side, right by Corey Jones. And the Americans are now within one. They have scored two quick goals in a space of 24 seconds. And they are now trailing three to two. His 21st goal of the year. The assist to number 19, Terry Degner, and number 8, Brian Sackick, at 331. Well, that's the manufacturing company. They manufacture goals for the Americans. Now, Keller was in the penalty box, and we have a five-minute major going on the board against Victoria. I bet you what you're seeing right there is that after Keller right there was beat on the play, he made some form of comment, took some form of a swipe at somebody, and it ends up costing Victoria five minutes of major penalty. And this is a terrific opportunity now for the Tri-City Americans as they can put the puck in the net as many times as they can get it across that red line and keep the extra man in five minutes. And Keller is being escorted off the ice, so he must have got a gamer besides. Timeout's been called by the Cougars. With the Cougars leading 3-2, we'll be right back on KTCR. The kids are asleep. I'm ordering a movie using Columbia Cable's automated attendant. I dial 7830123. Listen to the instructions. Use my touch tone. Bingo. Or else you can check your account balance. Report a cable outage. Talk to a cable representative automatically. But tonight, tonight it's a movie with Margaret alone. The automated attendant from Columbia Cable. A major for slashing plus an automatic game misconduct at 331. The reason for the automatic game misconduct, any time that you use the stick to do harm, you automatically get suspended from the game. And he took the slash to the head of one of the Americans. Degner. Degner, and that cost you. And Keller is escorted. He gets first shot at the warm water in the shower. <laughs> I tonight. think they have plenty of water here. <laughs> if you put enough quarters in down there, you get plenty of hot water. <laughs> Face off at center ice, Dyer and Sackett. 16-29 to play, second quarter. Second period. Quarter? <laughs> Puck shot today. back, I guess so. Puck shot back into the Tri-City zone. Shakes will start to break out for the Americans. Goes up the left side now to Sackick. Sack cuts to the middle. Brian Sackick. Takes it up across the blue line. Reeves is dumped, but the Americans get it in safely. Right side Reeves, backhand, saved by Corey Jones, and it's shot out to the right wing. Dirksen with it, plays it low to Spinrath. Spinrath, back beside the net now to Reeves. Kyle goes back up front, Jakes, Jakes, right, Sackick, just a little hot, Sack can't do it. Sackick comes back up. Across the ice, across the net, Spinrath, Sackick chops at it once, twice, nets dislodged. And uh, Kyle Reeves signaling that the Cougars dislodged the net. I think they did, and I think they used Kyle Reeves to do it. Well, Rob Sumner down there again playing his post position like he does so well. The captain, he's an experienced defensive man. He knows how to get the uh, stoppage in play. He was there chopping at it with Kyle Reeves as they went after the puck. He was able to push Kyle Reeves into the side of the left post, the right post, excuse me and was able to dislodge it, and they were looking for the delay of game, but no good, says referee Wes Smith. They'll just bring it out for the faceoff. 417 remaining in the penalty to the Cougars. 540, or 1546 on the clock. 3-2 Victoria leading the Americans. It is Sackick and Dean Dyer on the faceoff. Sack wins it, Spenrath out front, Jakes. Jakes cross ice right, Reeves, Reeves. Short side, scores! Play by Reeves, and a beautiful pass from Spenrath. Great Spenrath gets 
gets the pass, passes it way down into the corner area where Kyle Reeves usually camps out. Kyle Reeves dips in, diving with that puck. And I'm telling you, he made it look like he was going to throw it right to the middle of the slot. And he got Corey Jones to skate just about three inches from the post. As he did it, he sliced it right in between, just let it skid right past the red line. Kyle Reeves gets his second goal of the period, second goal of the night, and ties it up three apiece. His 35th goal of the year. The assist to number four, Steve Jakes, and number 27, Greg Benrad. Puck back in the Tri-City zone on the faceoff. Sure, Stanka with it. No, that's Farrell. Farrell, cross ice left to McNutt. McNutt to Lindsay. Lindsay bounces off the right side again. Big Bill goes to the right hash marks. Down low to Degner, back up to Billy Lindsay. Lindsay's pass. Cut down by the Cougars. Knock loose. Loose pack. Puck in the slot. The Cougars able to drive it back to neutral ice. Back forward is McNutt. McNutt goes back under pressure. Plays it up along the wall to Degner. Degner dumping it in right in front of the Cougar net. Jones will drop it for Rob Sumner. Sumner fires it out. McNutt knocks it down. Buchanan's all over McNutt. Makes the outlet pass left to Degner. Cross for uh, Levens. Lindsay, he gets hit, but Levens leaves the puck for McNutt. McNutt from the right side. McNutt with it at the right hash marks. Goes down low. Back up front from Degner. Left to Lindsay. Lindsay a drive. It's Buchanan's stick. Puck loose. Degner tries to jam it. Then he tries to go upstairs. No doing. And they'll dig it off the wall again. Lindsay, McNutt, and Levens. Levy has it up front now. It goes to Farrell. Farrell with the puck to Levens. And it's slapped out by the Cougars. 2.49 remaining in the penalty. Remember, this was a major. As Farrell goes back to pick up the puck, we have two guys tied up in the Cougar zone. And no whistle. Interesting, as McNutt takes the puck in. McNutt drops it right low for Sackick. Sackick cross ice left. Farrell, Farrell beside the net. Oh, no! Reeves takes a couple of belts at it and it won't go. The Cougars able to drive it out of play. That was a little bizarre. Two guys laying on the ice wrestling with each other. Well, everybody was watching the puck as it came back down into the Tri-City zone as Scotty Levens was underneath one of the Victoria Cougars, and they were laying on top of each other down here, and the fans thought before the referee did. I didn't actually see it myself. I was following the puck, but the big thing that you were worried about right there was seeing the rush by the Americans coming up, and with one of the American players in the zone already, the offsides could have prevailed right there. 13.54 to go in the second period with a score side at three. Face off left circle in the Victoria zone. It'll be Sackick against Dean Dyer. Face off comes up front. Jakes looks at a shot, takes it. Kicked away by Corey Jones. Dirksen a drive and it's missed. Dirksen wipes out. Puck hits his body. Knocked down by Sackick, but it'll go back to neutralize. 2.14 to go in the Americans' power play. They've scored once on the major. Now Reeves with it. Reeves goes in, has spin wrap. Reeves, front of that. Reeves shoots. Jones makes the save. Puck picked up once again by Kyle Reeves. Back up front, Dirksen. Cross ice right, Jakes. Jakes goes to the right side. Picked up by Sackick. Left. Dirksen back from Reeves. Dirksen across left. Sackick one time. Just missed wide. Dirksen back down low now to Kyle Reeves. Reeves left hash mark. Reeves a pass to Sackick. Spenrath whacked at it once, twice. Kyle Reeves trying to jam it in. No. Puck's loose. Sackick whacks at it. Misses. They try again. Sackick brings it out up front. Jakes. Jake shoots, Jones scores! Finrath got it. Craig Finrath on the rebound. Well, that was enough effort for six goals. That's exactly right. They had plenty of shots down there at Corey Jones. It was just a matter of time as Steve Jake winds up right up inside the blue line. He lets one fly. It hit Corey Jones right in the pad. There were three Tri-City Americans there to try to put six on it. The one that does it, number 27, Drake Spinrath, as he puts the backside of the blade behind the puck, lifts it high into the air over a sprawling Corey Jones, and the Americans, for the first time in tonight's contest, take the lead for the three. 13-02 to go second period that's the second power play on the, our second goal on the uh, major penalty to Dwayne Keller very costly a dumb penalty cross ice left Farrell Farrell brings it up Farrell dumping it in 
Right of the Cougar net for Dean. Dean goes in hard, leaves it for Rankers. Rankers and Dean, they chase it down right side. Sackett getting the other assist on the goal. Puck stolen away there by Wu. Wu goes down, penalty coming. Rankers will get it, and that'll end the power play as Larry Wu was hooked by an Americans player. That will end the Tri-Cities power play and uh, send Dean to the penalty box but at the uh, 7.25 mark. Sorry, Tony. Very profitable second period so far for the Tri-City Americans as they were able to cash in on two goals in a four-minute time span. And that is uh, just what you want to see, a very costly penalty to Dwayne Keller and the Victoria Cougars as the Americans have now lead four to three. And the faceoff won by the Americans. The teams are four on four now. Virtue with it. Leaser for Sandwich. Sandy tries to force a pass. Stolen away by Buchanan. He's tied up. Wu gets the puck. He's popped by Virtue. Back in behind the net. Now goes Levens. Levens will short side and step right up the middle. Loses the puck and gets it right back at neutral ice. Levens goes in with Rankers catching up. Levy rocks in. Puck goes in front of the net. Nobody there to trail as Levens is hauled off the play. Cougars bring it up. Wu. Puck checked away. Buchanan. Cross ice right. Shot taken. Kolsik butterflies it away. And belts. Buchanan. Now Levens. One on one. Levens. Losing control of the puck. Levy's hit. And they'll get an offside. Levens was hit at the blue line by uh, Dyer, or number 12, Cipriano. And Cipriano just took a shot at Levens. And Levens is also going to be retaliated on the penalty. Oh, and boy, the crowd is going to let Cipriano let just threw out. his stick. And they're going to get both of them. They ought to get uh, Cipriano for an extra one. Jakes is going to go over and talk with referee Wes Smith. See if we're going to get uh, more than just uh, a little bit of a penalty here. Let's see what what the call is. Smith is down there explaining his uh, explaining himself. Jakes and Seaton are about equally dissatisfied, so I think you can figure out how that one's going to go. Cipriano just threw his stick behind him. I thought maybe that was going to cost him, but it turns out not to. Rennie to number 12, Mark Cipriano, two minutes for slicing, Tri-Cities penalty to number 16, Scott Levens, two minutes for roughing at 8-12. Coincidental minors, both teams four on four, and the Cougars power play starts in one second, but the Americans with it, Nibs goes left to Rennie, Rennie breaks in, starts in around Peters, Peters ties him up in the corner, now Nibs picks it up, Nibs trying to short side the goaltender, Jones can't do it. Taken off the play by Rob Sumner. Sumner back behind his own net. 39 seconds of power play left for the Cougars. Sumner lays off the puck to number 16. That's Jeff Greenwood getting about his first shift of the night. And the Cougars bring it right up the middle. Peters with it. Stolen away by McNutt. McNutt flips it in for Jones. Jones covers up. Flips it away to Peters. Peters gets it up to Mike Seaton. Seaton will drop back into his own zone. 10 seconds left in the power play for the Cougars. Seaton up along the right wing boards now. Seaton in a hurry, but Levney looking at him. Seaton pulls up, takes a shot. Kolzik pokes it away. Cougars had a man breaking in hard was Dyer as Lindsay picks up the puck. Dean's back on the ice. Lindsay chopped and a penalty coming. Puck's loose right in front of the net. Cougars slap it away. Delayed penalty coming, but Levney with it. Kolzik's off the ice. Kyle Reeves will turn the Americans with an extra attacker. Reeves will bring it up himself. Kyle Reeves pokes the puck in ahead, and the Cougars touch it for the play. But Sumner is going to go sit down for slashing. Boy, and I'll tell you what, that slash looked a lot like George at the cherry tree. As he just tore apart for the Tri-City Americans going in. I believe it was McNutt. No, it was uh, Billy Lindsay. Billy Lindsay, as he just chopped it. I believe he, yep, snapped the stick as well. Rob Sumner sitting down. Another power play opportunity now for the top-rated power play team in the CHL, the Tri-City Americans. Fourth power play of the night for the Americans. They are two for three on power plays so far tonight, which means they are six of nine. 
in the last two games. That's about as close 60 percent as you can get without working at that it. That is super. That is just terrific. Face off one by the Americans. Jake's right to Reeves. He chops it in. Jones will knock it down. They race in after it. Jones says, whoa, wait a minute, and covers it up and keeps it that way. I noticed that Corey Jones doesn't use that stick to ward off uh, people the way Kolzik does. You see him dump uh, uh, Cipriano over there? Oh, yeah. There. See, About launched him. Well, I'll tell you what, Corey Jones sees that too down through this end, and he could pick up a few pointers from only the goalie. Face off right circle, Cougar zone. I think you, that's, uh, that's what they would call 6-3-2-10 behavior. Dirksen is shot, long distance, kicked away by Jones. Foot race for it, top of the right circle. Spinrath got it, whoops, came loose, and it went right to Trevor Buchanan. Buchanan breaks in, one-on-one -on, -one on Jakes. Jakes working him over, backhand shot, goes behind the net. And Jakes comes up with a puck. Into the corner they go, Buchanan out to Spenrath. He lays it off to Sackick. Sack wheels, Brian Sackick takes it in. Drop back past Dirksen. Dirksen into the right corner, centers for Spenrath. The Cougars slap at it, it's picked up by Sackick. Minute 20 left in the power play for the Americans right front. Spinrath drilled it. What a pass from Brian Sackick. Brian Sackick takes it down into the left circle, and he looks at a planted, yes, I mean planted, Greg Spenrath. Nobody there to push him out of the slot, and he puts it right on his stick. Greg Spenrath turns, faces the net, lets his rifle about 14, 15 foot out in front of Corey Jones into the net. The Americans score their third power play goal of the game, and now lead five to three. Five goals in this second period of play. Spenrath getting the goal, Sackick the assist. His 13th goal of the year. The assist to number eight, Brian Sackick. And number nine, Devin Dirksen. 9.25 to go in the period. The Americans with the puck. And they've left the, uh, well, the penalty's on the ice, on the uh, clock, but it'll come off in a minute because it doesn't really count. Cougars with everybody back there at full strength. Puck shot into the Tri-City zone. Coles are going to leave it behind the whoop. Left it behind the net and almost got Virtue in trouble. He's able to slap it out of there. Now it's shot across the slot. Big drive coming, but it went in behind the net. John Baduk belted it and it came out into neutral ice. Slapped back by Sumner, but the puck is still loose as uh, Rennie tries to get on it. Now Bendera plays it back to uh, Sumner. Nibs lines up Bendera, bang, belts him one. Or check it, that's Peters. Peters with the puck goes left to Terry Bendera. Bendera feathers it into the Tri-City zone. Bandera, 18-year-old from Edmonton. Puck comes back up. The Americans bring it out. Rennie with the puck. Takes it into the Cougar zone. Rennie hauled down. I mean hauled all the way down. By number 19, Blair Scott. And uh, no whistle. Thought that was interesting. A regular mugging taking place down there in the right circle as Scott just went completely animal on... Hey, you can be charged with that. You won't get a penalty, but you can be charged. They fingerprint you and book you for that kind of action. I think right we there. better get Bill Cameron out here. <laughs> Help out. 8.24 to go, second period. 5-3, Americans leading. Faceoff will be to the left circle in the Cougar zone as you look on from center ice. And it will be... Trevor Rankers and Dyer to face it off. Now Rankers, yep, Rankers will take the draw against Dyer. Dyer wins it. Cougars have it. Peters behind the net. Bang, Spenrath gets him and may get the puck loose. He does. Levins has it. Now Spenrath. They still kick it, kick it around down there. Now Levy with it. Drops it low behind the net. Spenrath goes in hard with his man, Levins. Big hit by Levins on Harrison. Levins goes down, puck's tied up. Down goes Ryan Harrison, and the puck finally squirts loose back behind the net. Sumner will go after it for the Cougars. Sumner turns. He'll bring it up the left side. Rob Sumner. He's going to go all the way and feather it into the Tri-City zone, right corner. Harrison tries to jump on it. Sandwich takes him out. Penalty coming as Harrison is clobbered down behind the Americans' net. But Lubney is going to get the ticket, and he'll get his, uh, Lubber will have his say, but I don't think he's going to get 
much more than that. An attorney he's not at this particular time as he goes to the penalty box trying to plead his case with West Smith. Obviously not going to do it. I think this is going to go morning. Let's but let me two minutes for roughing at 12.16. Well, again, Smith had the laundry list. Uh, boarding, roughing, uh, maybe even a spear. Could have been a lot of things down there. Yeah, that's as, true. Uh, he went in with, uh, with some intent on his mind Both guns blazing. Power play number four for the Cougars. They are 0 for 3 on the night. Faceoff will come in the left circle. Tri-City zone. That's Olaf Kolzik's right-hand side. Puck's chopped in the air. Cougars have it. Cipriano goes down low. Knocked away by Shurstenka. Back out to neutral ice. Picked up by Mark Cipriano from Delta BC. It was acquired from Regina last, late last season by the Cougars. Puck shot into the Tri-City zone again. Jake's there. And he'll flip it back out. I don't know how the Americans manage to make penalty killing look boring, but they really do. They do a tremendous job. Maybe that's why. Puck comes ahead along the wall. This ain't boring. Here comes Larry Wu. But Nibs is there. Nibs steals it away. Sumner picks up the puck. He has to wait, though, because everybody's caught in a zone. Back to Cipriano. Explain that one to me. Puck goes back into the Tri-City zone. Shot out by Shurstenka. Picked up by Levens. Levens pops. Cipriano, Cipriano takes a swing at him as he loses his headgear. Now Spinraff cruising in behind the net on Sumner. Sumner back behind his own net. One minute to go in the power play. Head, Cipriano's headgear laying on the ice. Look for parts of his head in it. Up along the wall as Levins crunches green. Now they go to the right-hand side as Buchanan will start to bring it up. He's in his own zone. Levins all over him. Levin's using that stick. We used to call that hickey bobbin just to hang on to the guy as he goes in ahead of you. And uh, he goes into the corner in the Tri-City zone. Sandwich tied up there by Zakuski. And uh, Levin's trying to dig the puck loose. Shot out in front of the net. Pulls it there to slap it away. Now Spinrath whacks it the length of the ice into the Cougar zone. 19 seconds remaining as Jones passes it up along the wall to Bendera. Bandera goes cross ice to the right side. Baduk. Big drive. Scored! John Baduk. And that makes it 5-4. Well, the Americans' goaltenders need a little work on that shot from the right side, I'd say. And there's three of them so far this evening that have gone in just like that, this time on Ole Kolzig, as Baduk gets the cross ice pass just at the top of the left circle, and he lets a blistering slap shot go, and it just catches Ole Kolzig. I wonder if he was crossed up just enough to let that puck go in, as it seemed like a simple enough shot for him to stop, but it didn't get into the pads. It got into the net. Victoria now gets their fourth marker. They trail the Americans by one. It's 5-4 Tri-City. Oh, Jones gets an assist. Bandera gets an assist. And Baduk gets his first goal of the season. 5-4 Tri-Cities leading the Victoria Cougars. Late second period action here at the Coliseum. Degner loses the draw to Dyer. Cougars drive it into the American zone. Kolzig will leave it for Jakes. Jakes turns. He'll bring it up the right side. Overskates the puck. Dyer there. Picked up by the Cougars. Out in the slot. Shurstenka knocks it away. Drive. Block. Kolzig. One save. This time it goes in behind the net. Cougar or Kolzig is up. Poke, puck poked right in in front of Kolzig. He feathers it out to Lindsay. Lindsay finds Sackick. Sackick, two on three to Lindsay. Left side, whoops. Puck jumped over Billy's stick. Sackick and Lindsay with it in the left corner. Lindsay trying to get it out up front. Taker shoots. Nice save by Corey Jones. And the Cougars bring it up. Cross ice pass left for Seaton. Knocked away from him by Virtue. Puck's loose at center ice. Seaton stolen away from him by Degner. Degner goes right to Lindsay. Lindsay shoots, but he shot it right into Peters. And they score! It came out to Sackick, and he popped it in. Boy, that was quick. At the 15-minute mark. Terry Degner right there trying to make something happen, trying to get it in to center it. And what had happened was is that Peters slid right in front, was able to knock it back. Degner sees Sackick coming straight down the middle. 
puts it right on his pad, and as Peters was getting up, he screams out Corey Jones, his own netminder, and the shot just went right back into the side of the net, and the Americans answer that goal right there. The Americans now lead six to four. That one comes at the 15-minute mark. The American six goal! Scored by number eight, Brian Sackick, his 31st goal of the year. The assist to number 25, Boo Lindsay, and number 19, Terry Dagner, at 15 minutes. Well, and on the faceoff, the puck is knocked out of play, so they'll start over again. You hear the folks starting to count. They like to count here. 4.50 to go, second period. Americans lead by two. They trailed at the end of one, three to nothing. Sandy with it, back off the ice to uh, Kyle Reeves. Reeves turns. Reeves working on a hat trick tonight. Gets it in ahead of Dean. Dean can't handle it. Sumner, cross ice, poked away by Reeves. Reeves chases it to the left side. Reeves wipes out in the corner. Tried to slide it in, couldn't. Dirksen gets it, no. He loses it, back out front. Degner finds Jim Dean. Dean with the puck. Looking for somebody. Fine. Oops, Larry Wu. That's not somebody. And here come the Cougars. Peters brings it up. Peters, backhand pass. Goes to the right for Greenwood. Greenwood loses it along the wall. Virtue, drop back pass to Sandwith. Sandwith picks it up. Goes to the right side now to Devin Dirksen. Dirksen in a foot race. Dirksen, blue line. Drop pass. Reeves. Reeves to the right side. Shoots. Dirksen there for the redirect, but he couldn't get it to go. Dirksen hit by Sumner back behind the net. Bandera. Wall pass, tries to get it out, but Lebney drives it back in. Puck goes into the corner, Bendera. Now Dean jumps on Bendera. Bendera turns, three on two, cross ice right. Here comes Baduk. Baduk fires it in, this time left of the net. Kolzik puts a little wood on it. Bendera gets to it. Bendera put Lebney. Dean and Baduk go into the corner hard, and they'll tie it up there. Or check it, it wasn't Baduk. It was Jared Zakuski. 6-4, Tri-City. Leading the Victoria Cougars, and the faceoff will come in the Tri City zone. Boy, I sure like that number 18, James Dean, that we've acquired. Yeah. What a what a pepper pie. It really is. I mean, the kid just gets out there and really works very hard. Even though he's not very big, but he gets out there and he rubs off checks well and he skates well. And he's a good player. If you like Jim Dean, I understand that Penny's has a ton of number 18 Americans jerseys. Faceoff goes to the right side. Spinrath and Levens. Levens shoots. Save made by Jones. Levins and Spinrath hauled that one in, playing give and go. And uh, Levy took the shot. Corey Jones stayed with it, made the save. That's good. Now Ranker, who watch this, Rankers and Dyer having uh, conversation. Rankers going to the penalty box. I don't know if they're going to get Dyer or not. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks as if the roughing penalty will go against Trevor Rankers. The Americans back to work again on the penalty killing. Here's the penalty. 11, Trevor Rankers, two minutes for roughing at 16.39. I'd like to see that big guy drop him one time, wouldn't you? He is a house. Oh, yeah. And the thing about it is he can skate. He can move. That's exactly right. He doesn't have that uh, big guy syndrome that a lot of a uh, lot of bigger guys have. Where it, what is it? The Western Union to their feet? Yeah. <laughs> Rennie and Nibs on the faceoff, bad puck drop, and we'll start over again. They'll do it just outside the Victoria Blue Line. Rennie and Nibs, penalty killers extraordinaire. You, you cause them, we kill them. Uh, it's incredible what they've done. They've uh, over the last three games now, they have killed 23 of 27 situations for an 85.2% kill. Nibs with it, takes it in, dumps it into the right corner of the Victoria net. They have also gotten a seriously large number of uh, shots on goal as Rennie takes it into the right corner now, tied up by Blair Scott. Larry or uh, Dyer will go in to try to get it loose. Nibs, Rennie, Dyer. As they continue to scramble for it. Now the Cougars have the puck. Dyer puts a little move on Rennie. Doesn't put a move on Nibs, though. Calvin Nibs turned him inside out. To Jakes. Jakes walks in, shoots. Rebound comes off of Jones's stick, picked up by the Cougars. 
you should really add Jakes and Shurstenka to that penalty killing crew. They are something. Now uh, Dyer will bring it up. Dyer made the had the bad manners to get by Rennie, and uh, you discover that Rennie has a shadow, and Rennie's shadow is bigger than he is. <laughs> and he has kind of an ugly temper about those sort of things. <laughs> Puck to the right side. They try to center it. Knocked down. Cipriano shoots. Scores! Cipriano is Colzig was screened. Mark Cipriano on a, kind of a funny play across the slot. Oli Colzig trying to drop down and trying to make the block with the big pads and put the stick right across through the five hole. Cipriano just pulls the puck up and makes it travel at about oh, two and a half foot off the ground and just catches Ole Kolzig in the transition from standing up to sitting down as it went right between the five hole and the Victoria Cougars get their fifth marker of the evening. Power play goal. They trail by one at 6-5 Tri-City. Five to four. Dyer and Seton on the assists. Face off at neutral ice. One by the Americans. Here comes Lindsay. Lindsay and Sackick two on one. Lindsay takes it in. Oh, he just put it over Sackick's stick. Nice move by Lindsay on Seaton, but he just chopped it over Sackick's stick. Cougars try to work it out to neutral ice. They do. Sticks down on the ice. Put Lubney. Hits it off right off of West Smith now. Taking it in for the Cougars. Stolen away by the Americans. Quick head man pass to Sackick. Sackick at the blue line. Tried to drop it to Lindsay. Off his skate. Picked up there by Zakuski. Long distance shot. Kolzig makes the save. But Labney goes after the puck. Up along the wall now to Lindsay. Lindsay gets crunched by Bendera. Under two minutes to go in the second period. Puck out at neutral ice to Baduk. Baduk fires it in. High over the net. Kolzig will stop it on the dasher board and leave it right there for Scott Farrell. Farrell brings it out. Has to step away from pressure from Greenwood. Gets it to uh, Sackick. Back out to neutralize. Degner tries to keep it in play. Can't. Back to Farrell. Farrell brings it up. Farrell feathers it into the Cougar zone. New shift change is on for the Americans. Spin wrap. And Levens along with Rankers. Cougars fire at the length of the ice. Could be icing when Sandwith gets to it. Let's see. Nope. Won't have enough power to get into the, across the goal line. Sandwith to Virtue. Virtue fires it out to neutral ice. Cougars have it. Scott. Scott with it. He goes cross ice right to Wu. And Scott gets buried by Levin. Big hit by Sandwith. Now Rankers goes in. Wu and Rankers continue to scramble. And the puck comes around beside the Americans. That's the Sandwith. Overskated by Levins, but Levy picks it back up. Levins goes in ahead of Spenrath. Pucks loose. Cougars whack at it. They control it. That's Larry Wu. Wu, head man pass to Greenwood. Nope, Greenwood gets smacked by Virtue, and the puck is shot back out with seven seconds to go. Back into the Cougar zone. Goaltender Jones will play it. No ice and call there with two seconds. Time runs out in the second period with the score. American six, Cougars five. Back after this. Back once again at the Tri-Cities Coliseum. I'm Tony Ott. Second intermission and a lot different than the last time we talked. Yes, the Americans have come out and scored six times.
Pat. Off. And this third period face-off being sponsored by Mets Marina, serving the region's boating needs for 36 years on Clover Island, Lake Wallula, Tenaway. Well, the Cougars open up with a bench minor, Tony. Comes at the 20-minute mark of the second period, actually. At the 20-minute mark at the end of the second period, served by number seven, Shane Green. Shane Green, and I'm not sure, uh, probably illegal use of the mouth would be my uh, best guess, would you? I would say so, Kirk, as one of the linesmen now has gone back and got the squeegee for a little bit of water. Looks as if the Zamboni dropped a little bit of its water on the ice there. They're going to let that uh, freeze up a little bit by dispersing it a little bit better there. Is that, is that water they're pulling out of there? It sure is. Yeah, that, what happens, that Zamboni carries that water, and sometimes there can be a, a spot that's a little bit lower on the ice, and it puddles up on the ice there. Yep. And it just so happens that this spot is just right in front of the goal. And that is not where you want to see all that water. It'll slow that puck up to a standstill. Well, it's where the Cougars would like to see the water. They certainly would right now. Well, the floodgates opened in that third period. That may have been the biggest output of the year for the Americans in one period. Actually, is Kirk, what we've six. got, six is the, the record is seven against Portland in the second period on the 24th of November. All right. That tied three times that they have hit six in the second, or two times they've hit six in the second period, and that was against Spokane on the 18th of October and on the 2nd of December against Campbell. Power play for the Americans, their fifth of the night, and it will be Sackick and Dean Dyer on the faceoff. West Smith to drop the puck, and we're ready to go. Uh, now Smith has to do a little uh, work on the ice. I think it's time to call the Zamboni mechanic. <laughs> Sackick and Dyer. Well, they they scraped a bunch of ice off the other day to uh, take some of the uh, paint painted logos and stuff off the ice, and it can make a difference. The Americans work the puck out of their own zone. Sackick will bring it up. Sackick up the right side now. Sack cuts to the left, goes across the blue line offside. And I'm not sure who got in first. Kyle Maybe Reeves. Sack, well, it could be, yeah. Kyle Reeves was sitting there. He was uh, posted up at the blue line, ready to go in. And he was waiting for Sackick to start to rush past the blue line. And he just got in over the blue line just enough. Right This time was right in front of the linesman. And he made the right call for the offside. Got a nice letter from Americans fans Jordine Lucas and Dodie Jones. Thanks very much, ladies, for your uh, kind words. Back into the Tri-City zone on the face-off. Jake's back behind the net. Jake's turns. Comes up the right wing boards to Sackick. Sackick ahead to Spenrath. Spenrath looking at Reeves. Going across in front of the net. Spenrath goes to the right corner instead. In the slot, Dirksen. His shot hits a body. And it's fired around off the wall. It'll be cut off by... Nope, Jake's will chase it out to neutral ice. Jake's wiped out. I think he tripped over the linesman. Jake's turns away from Dyer. And he'll bring it up. Steve Jake's. Makes the pass, cross ice to Devin Dirksen. Dirksen across to Reeves. Reeves mishandles the puck. And Spenrath will try it now. Spenrath under pressure. Now Dirksen just chops it in ahead of Reeves with Sumner there to fire it right back out again for the Cougars. Now Colson comes out of the crease to play it to Steve Jakes. Once again to Sackick. Broken up again for the Cougars, but back to Jakes. Jakes overshoots Sackick. The puck hits Reeves. The Americans have to clear the zone. They do back in the Cougar zone. Fired back along the wall by Blair Scott back into the Tri-City zone. All of a sudden, the Cougars penalty killing. Looks like the Tri-Cities have been looking a little late. Now Levens takes the pass for Tri-Cities. Levens bounces off the left wing boards. Breaks in, loose puck. Lindsay dives on it, can't get to it. But Dirksen is there, backhands it to Farrell. Farrell a drive, redirected by Levens. Picked up by Lindsay, back to Levens, back to Lindsay. 
Dirksen up front. Farrell. Farrell shoots it down beside the net. Levy can't get to it. Lindsay out front. Dagner hits it beside the net, and the Cougars have the puck. Fired back up to neutralize. Farrell keeps it in play. Shoots it in. Knocked high in the air by the Cougars. Power plays over. Green steps in. And Farrell fires it into the Cougar zone. Shift change Tri-Cities. As a Cougar player wipes out, and we get a whistle as uh, Jason Peters is down, and he went headlong into the boards. I don't think we're going to have a penalty here, but then again, Degner is talking to uh, Wes Smith, who's pointing toward Degner, but... I think what Degner was trying to point out was maybe a delay of game penalty. What you saw right there was Jason uh, Peters. Uh, he got his skate. He, he like, like skiing, he caught an edge. And when he caught the edge, he didn't have any place to fall except right into the back corner there. And when he did, he kind of shook himself up a little bit, and he's off the ice now. And, and I believe that's what Terry Degner went over to the West Smith for, was that he landed right on the puck, and it was so convenient. Yeah, right. McNutt and Zakuski on the faceoff. Nutter wins it. Rennie's shot. Score! Steve Rennie! Oh! -ho -ho! I bet you that if Steve Rennie did that, for another week, he wouldn't get another one to go. And that was just pure lack of concentration by the netminder, Corey Jones, as he went up with the blocker pad to try to deflect that just easy wrist shot by Steve Rennie. And when it hit the blocker, it bounced down and in, and not out and away like it was supposed to. Rennie with an assist from Jones. That's exactly right. <laughs> the Americans now lead 7-5. Take them any way you can get them, Dogger. Face off. Won by the Americans, Sandwith up the left wing board. Won by number 23, Steve Rennie, his third goal of the year. The assist to number 15, Steve McNutt, at 2 14. And Rennie, or uh, Rennie getting another chance on a nice pass from Terry Virtue as the Americans keeping it in play. McNutt trying to get it to Rennie, can't. McNutt getting the assist on Rennie's goal. Now Baduk fires it into the Tri-City zone. Coles will leave it beside the net for Virtue. Virtue out along the wall. Up ahead of Ka Calvin Nibs. 7-5 Americans leading. Here in the second, in the third period early. Sandwith lays a little hit on Baduke. Now Sandwith with the puck. Gets it ahead to Spenrath. Spenrath wheels in. Spenrath shoots! Scores! Greg Spenrath! And Greg Spenrath gets the hat trick as the hats come flowing down onto the ice here at the Tri-City Coliseum. Greg Spenrath taking the puck all by himself right in there. Goes right by the defense. Shoots another shot that ricochets off of Corey Jones. And had enough mustard behind it to cross the line and light the lamp. The Americans now have eight. And Victoria has five. Spenrath throws his glove in the air and uses his stick to gun it down. Big guy gets the hat trick. I think his last one was about this time last year, wasn't it? Right after Christmas? Or do you have one this year? I'll double check on that, Kirk. I All think right. he's had one this year already. Maybe you're right. Good by number 27, Greg Spenrath. A hat trick. The assist to number seven, Karan Sandworth at 3 7 307 the time of the goal. Sandwith getting the assist. And will they clean up all the hats? We'll take a quick timeout on KTCR. Want the best deal, but you don't know where. Well, don't blame me if you haven't talked to the bear. Get down to the bear facts, the real nitty gritty. Get down to bear mark, you'll be sitting pretty. Well, credit is no problem if you're working steady. Get yourself bear smart, bear mark. Well, the arena staff out to uh, collect the hats, which will all go to Greg Spinrath, of course. Spinner getting his hat trick this tonight. Kyle Reeves has two. Let's see who else has two. Reeves has a pair. That's it. 16.53. Remaining in the third period. Americans lead eight to five. Jared Burgoyne now in goal for the uh, Cougars. 
And a nice chance by the Americans there, kicked away by Burgoyne. Levens racing it after the puck. Levens with uh, Rankers. Rankers will pull it off the wall. Center for spin round, fires it in just beside the net. Now Levens has it. Levens out front. Jakes. Jakes a shot. Hits a stick and goes over the glass. Nice catch by that fellow down there in uh, section W. Kirk, that's Drake Spinrath's first hat trick this season. And I believe you're right, though. Last year about this time, he did get one. Well, I remember, remember him telling me that Santa Claus brought him goal scoring hands for Christmas. Maybe a late visit from St. Nick tonight. 8-5, eh? Tri-Cities leading the Victoria Cougars. Another sellout here in the Coliseum. Face off right circle, Cougars zone. Got the wave going. As Sumner brings the puck up to neutralize. Checked away by Degner. Sackick, Lindsay, Degner jump on the puck. We got a whistle. Penalty coming, hooking the call against the Americans as uh, Burgoyne was being pulled. That comes at the 349 mark. Bill Lindsay gets called for the hooking penalty. And Victoria once again goes on the power play. And the power play for the Cougars now, their fifth, I believe. Let's double check that. Nope, sixth. Sixth one of the evening. The Americans penalty killing team once again hard at work as they have been in the last few games. 8-5. The score, Tri-Cities leading on a pair of goals by Rennie and Spenrath early, less than a minute apart again, early in the third period. Puck shot into the Cougar zone. Sackick, Shurstanka, Degner, and uh, Jakes. For the Americans, the penalty killers, as Degner takes the puck away from Dyer, but Dyer gets back to it, drops it into the Tri-City zone. Into the left corner, Dyer. Dyer brings it back up along the ice, stolen away from Buchanan by Degner. Degner and Sackick, two on one. Sackick, backhand to Degner, scores! And Degner takes a shot in the back of the head from the Cougars. I think that was Dyer that got Degner in the back of the head, but Degner gets the goal. Lindsay the assist. Uh, right, or uh, Sackick, brother. I'm check sorry. That, Sackick, right. that was a great play by both those guys as Degner picks up the loose puck at center ice. He brings it in with Sackick off to his left side as they went down through the middle of the slot area. Degner lost control as he was backhanding it, and he backhanded to Sackick. Sackick couldn't get it and turns around, and with just a swipe of the puck or the stick, he was able to put it right out for Degner to pop it home. And the Americans have hit their ninth one, and they lead it 9-5 to five now. And that was a shorthander. That's their eighth now of the Rennie season. Now Rennie steals it beside the net. Rennie with Nibs cruising in there, but Rennie couldn't make the pass. Now Baduk stolen away by Nibs. Nibs fires it in, bounces in front of the goaltender, out in front of Sumner. To Sumner. Sumner brings it around behind the net. The Americans able to knock it away. Jakes. Jakes waltzes in. He's taken down. Penalty coming. Holding will be the call against the Cougars. Terry, the Terry Bandera will be whistled for that particular one. Holding Steve Jakes as he wrapped him up completely, threw him down to the ice. That wipes out the Victoria Cougar play, uh, power play and will give the Americans a power play in 57 seconds. By the way, Kirk, that shorthander was number eight on the year for the Americans. Bandera goes to sit for holding. Well, only Kolzig will get the win tonight for the Tri-City Americans, most likely. 50, assuming that they hang on to it. He came in with the Americans behind, and uh, the team has responded. 15.07 to go as the puck on the faceoff is shot out of play up into section Y. There's a guy up there uh, just discovered what we've been trying to tell everybody for a year and a half called he's shaking his hand. That one went right through and just left uh, friction burn as it went by. That's made in Canada on his hand now. Those things have treads on the side. They sure do. They're like little and tires. They'll, they'll bite you. 15.05 <laughs> to go, third period. Vulcanized rubber kept frozen in a bucket of ice water. Americans on a power play, McNutt. Losing the puck to Larry Wu. Wu brings it up, flips it into the Tri-City zone. Kolzig will leave it behind the net for Virtue. Virtue, both teams four on four now. Virtue cross-ice to Sandwich. 
Sandy steps away from two players, brings it up. Trans Sandwith, bring it all the way up himself. Sandy wheels in. Sandwith will try to short side it. Can't do it. Rocks all the way around behind the net. Fires a pass to the right side to Dean. Dean chops at it, goes over the net. McNutt's on it. McNutt taken off the play by Cipriano. McNutt and Cipriano fight for the puck along the wall to the left of the Cougar net. Now Cipriano has it. Cipriano bangs it off the glass. Back to Peters. Back to Cipriano. Quick pass ahead to Wu, and he gets rid of it. It's on goal. Colson will steer it off to Sandwith. Four seconds left in the penalty to Lindsay. Sandy wheels back behind the net under pressure from Buchanan. Lindsay's back on. Sandwith with the puck behind the net. Lindsay goes off. On comes Kyle Reeves. Quick pass to Virtue. Left to Reeves. Reeves in ahead of Spinrath. Hits some headgear beside the net. Spinrath throws it around behind the net. Picked up there by Buchanan. He wheels. Fires it out to neutral ice. It's Dirksen skates. Dirksen turns. He'll take it in. Drop back pass for Reeves. Off the wall. Whoops. Dirksen can't get it off the dasher board. Picked up there by Sumner. Sumner firing it back into the American zone. The Americans' power play is underway. Kolzig makes the pass. Ahead to Dirksen. Dirksen for Reeves. Whoops. Poked away by the Cougars. They'll fight for it. Now Sackick has it. Sackick shovels it left to Spenrath. Spenrath, three goals on the night. Leaves it for Sackick. Whoop. Stolen away from him by the Cougars. That's Mike Seaton. One on three. Picked up by Sackick. Sackick and Reeves go in two on two. Reeves. Reeves with a shot. Poke checked away. Jakes jumps on it. No. Hits out to neutralize. Dyer. Two seconds in the power play. Dyer shot. Misses wide to the net to the right side. Picked up by Seaton. He flips it back down low. Dirksen will take it off the dasher board. The Americans will have it. That was the American sixth power play. They remain three for six tonight. Puck up to neutralize. Seaton keeps it in play. Back down beside the net left. That's Dirksen playing it around into the corner. Dyer has it. Shoots it all the way around behind the net right to Harrison. Ryan Harrison into the slot. Trying to get the redirection. Goal can't. Dyer couldn't get it done. And it's shot the length of the ice back to the American zone. Jones comes out to play it. Plays it to Peters. Peters dumping it back behind the net. Picked up by Cipriano. Twelve and a half minutes to play. Americans lead. 9-5. Puck out to neutral ice. Picked up by Dyer. Couple of big hits there. As Rennie intercepts the pass back in the Cougar zone. Rennie slaps it back into neutral ice. Nibs couldn't get it. Peters has it. Nibs jumps over Sumner's stick. The Americans almost steal it away. Now they do. Rennie and Nibs and McNutt doing the work. To Nibs, left side. Nibs at the left hash mark. Drop back past Rennie. Finds Farrell in the slot. Farrell can't get it done, but McNutt is there to save it. McNutt, top of the slot. Goes left for Rennie. Steve Rennie up in front to Nibs. Off the wall. Nibs couldn't handle it. Back to Rennie. Rennie goes behind the net. Throws it out to Calvin Nibs. Nibs looking at McNutt out front. Slaps it off the wall. Nibs and Rennie with Sumner. Trying to dig it loose. Sumner standing on the puck now. And they continue to scramble for it. Now Nibs just puts his shoulder down and takes Sumner off the puck. But it's stolen away by Seaton. Taken away from him by the Americans. Put Lobney back to Farrell. Farrell goes cross ice. Dropping his stick is Badook. He falls down, but he kicks the puck out to neutral ice. Now it's kept back into the Tri-City zone. But Lobney has it. Lebers pass goes left to McNutt. McNutt takes it in left. McNutt cuts to the middle. Tries to find... Lindsay down low. Can't take it away by the Cougars. Badook bangs one off the glass into the Tri-City zone. Kolzig will leave it. Well, Kolzig started leaving for Sandwith, but under pressure, Sandy had to bury his man along the boards. Bad pass there. Lindsay can't handle it. Cougars with the puck. Victoria brings it up left side. Bandera. They fired in beside the Americans net. Sandwith popping Badook beside the net. Cougars defense. They are without Clapstein and without Brent Thurston tonight. And we got a whistle behind the play. And I'm not sure what. And I'm not sure either, Kirk. I was looking up here out the ed edge of the ice. Might have been, well, I was going to say a two-line pass, but out yeah. of your own zone, I don't think so. It was a rush. They didn't have the pass there. Obviously, the official saw something they didn't like. It was referee Wes Smith who blew the whistle. And a penalty has been assessed. That's what it is. It's going to be a penalty. And it'll go against the Americans. Let's see. The Americans' penalty box is open. I, I wonder if maybe West heard something he didn't want to hear. Yeah, Rankers is going off. He will serve what I think is a bench minor. Let's try 9.28, the time of the penalty. Seventh power play of the night for the Cougars. 
And Audible's bet money it's Finch Minor. That's what it is. Price of the American penalty is a bench minor for too many men on the ice, served by number 11, Trevor Renkers. And too many men. Cougars get their seventh power play of the night. Face off, won by the Americans. Rennie back to Nibs in his own zone. Nibs goes to the right, steps around Rennie. Rennie back to Nibs. Calvin Nibs with a puck. Nibs backs away, finds Jakes. Jakes shoots a pass ahead, gets by everybody. The Cougars are going to have a chance here, as is picked up by Harrison. Harrison along the wall. Steps in, the Americans knock it away, but Dyer there. Dyer goes right to Seaton. Seaton up front now. Sumner, a shot. Coles it kicks it away. Rebound, shot, block, hit a body up front. Another shot. Seaton, Kolzik save. Kolzik sprawls on top of the puck. Great flurry of saves by Ole Kolzik. Yes, it was certainly Ole the goalie coming up big right there as several shots were taken at him. And he was able to put the big blocker pad down there and stop Mike Seaton's hold on two. Good shot by Seaton. The big guy comes up real big for the Tri City Americans. Got some scores here, and I'll get them to you if I can read them. Lethbridge six, Swift Current two. That is a final. Saskatoon four, Brandon nothing. Another final. And in the second period, it's Kamloops four, Seattle two at Seattle. And the other goal, uh, score that we've got is Spokane and PA, I believe, tied at one in the second period. Well, I tell you, the Raiders are road where you can see that Friday night. Puck back to neutralize. Levin's burying Sumner. Power play, Cougars. Puck's loose, chopped at by the Americans. Virtue firing it up, picked up by Levin. Levin's one on one. Levy a drive. And Jones, or uh, Burgoyne, directs it off beside the net. Cougars with it. Levin's. Couldn't do much except crank up the big slap shot. Now he steals it again. Nope. Cougars will get it back. Cipriano and Dyer. Now Spenrath able to poke it away. Puck is loose and neutralized. Picked up by Dyer. Dyer brings it across the red line to the Americans' blue line. Dyer, right side, drop past Seaton. Seaton shot, missed wide of the net right. Comes out to Jim Dean. Dean wheels up along the boards, and it's almost knocked out of play. The Americans are there. It's your Stenka. Flips it into the Cougars zone. It comes out to Seaton. 29 seconds left in the power play. Cougars had about four good shots on goal on that flurry as Seaton brings it up one more time. Mike Seaton, blue line. Americans leading 9-5 over the Cougars. Tri-City is able to dig it loose. Dean flipping it out into the Cougars zone. Burgoyne out to hand off to Peters. Right to Blair Scott. Scott ahead of Badouk. Badouk, right point. Fires it in beside the net. Comes off the wall to Zakuski. In the corner, Jakes and Zakuski. Puck up to Peters at the left point. They go down low, walking in for the left Paduk. His shot. Save Kolzig. And back behind the net. Jakes does his job to get the puck loose. Now out to Rankers. Trevor Rankers and Dean break in. Rankers feeds it left, and Dean will go keep an eye on Blair Scott. Puck back to neutral ice. Farrell fires it back in for the Americans. Now Reeves jumps on Scott. Scott beside the net. Power plays over. As Reeves jumps in, Zakuski wipes out. Puck is loose, back in the Cougar zone. Picked up by Victoria. Blair Knox, or Blair Scott, rather. Farrell chops it away, head to Reeves. Reeves for Sackick. Sackick bounces in. Sackick to Farrell, and Farrell can't get it done. Oh, what a chance for Scotty Farrell. As the Cougars bring it up, Bandera drive, Kolzik. Pad save into the corner, another shot goes around behind the net. All the way out to neutral ice, Buchanan. And he drives it, I think, right up out of play. Boy, what a flurry. 9-5. The Americans leading the Cougars back right after this. This week, the greatest disappearing act in the history of Eastern Washington will occur. Over 150 brand new Toyotas, Chryslers, and Plymouths are going to vanish from Simpson of Tri-Cities. Because until December 31st, every brand new 1990 is an unbelievable $4.99 over dealer invoice. Plus, your trade will be worth more right now. Because Blue Book values change with the new year. Simpson does not want to carry these new cars and trucks into next year's inventory. Make a magical deal today during the Great Disappearing Act at Simpson of Tri-Cities. Back at Tri-Cities Coliseum, 7.42 to play. 9-5, Americans leading the Victoria Cougars. Looks like the Tri-City Americans are going to be going on the power play. Too many men on the ice, assessed at 12-18. Well, the Cougars take their uh, share as Norman Greenbaum does his thing on the PA system here. 
I kind of like that. Green will serve the penalty. Seems to be the designated bench minor server. That's two that uh, Green has served tonight. Face off, one by the Americans, Levens. Levens, top of the left circle. Levens, cross ice right. For Shostanka, left to Farrell. Farrell looks in, blast one. Bucks loose, rebound out front. Nets this large. No goal. And they better give a penalty right there to Rob Sumner. Well, if I, I don't, let's see if they do. Yep. Rob Sumner went straight in on the net. The net was wide open. Nobody standing in front. He dropped his stick and pushed the net off the mooring. And I see referee Wes Smith over at the penalty box right now. Here comes Rob Sumner, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Delay of game will be the penalty against Sumner. That was terminally stupid. And that will give the Americans a see The Cougars one for seven on power plays. Americans getting their seventh and eighth now. A five on three situation now for the Americans. Add to that 9-5 lead they have here. 7.27 remaining in the third period. Rennie, Spinrath with a hat trick, and Degner have scored in this period for the Americans. Next action for the Tri-City Americans on Wednesday the 10th. They travel back up north to the Spokane Coliseum, one of Kirk's favorite places to go. Hey, up. And then uh, back home on Friday and Saturday against the Kamloops Blazers. That's right, a Friday and Saturday contest against the Blazers. Farrell losing the puck at the right point. The Americans now have Degner breaking in. Degner shoots <laughs> Gary Degner, boy, that didn't take long. And Degner has two for the night. Well, I'll tell you what, Terry Degner just, just gave Jared Burgoyne a lesson on why you have to let the player commit first instead of the goaltender. Jared Burgoyne, sizing up the shot by Terry Degner, falls straight down and allows the upper shelf just to be completely exposed. Climb in the elevator, push the up button, and there you go. And it went straight up to the top as the Americans break into the double digits. Number 10 against Victoria's Five. And that well, was and a pretty goal. That was. And uh, the power play continues because of Sumner's it's dumb play. Scored by number 19, Terry Dagner. His 17th goal of the year. The assist to number 25, Bill Lindsay. And number 6, Scott. Puck in behind the Cougar net. That was a five on three goal. Now out front, Sackick, left Jakes. Jakes in the slot, shoots. Benrath, score! Craig has four! A power play goal for Spinner. And that is Greg Spinrath's first time in his career he has scored four goals in the same contest. Greg Spinrath with the goal. 13.04 the time of the goal. A second power play. The Americans five for eight on the power play tonight. And Greg Fenrath does the moonwalk after <laughs> he goes and congratulates with Olaf Kolzik. He comes back through the zone, does the moonwalk, does a pirouette, and slams a stick down. I can't Gigi do that. On, I can't do that standing up on dry ground. <laughs> and he takes a stick and he slams it in like Kiki Rodriguez does with the golf club. 27, Greg Fenrath is 15th of the year. The assist to number four, Steve Jakes, and number eight, Brian Sackick. Power play goal at 13.04. Americans lead 11-5. Back in their own zone. Jakes with it. Goes left to Shurstenka. Shurstenka, quick pass ahead to Nibs. Nibs from McNutt. Nibs in traffic. Rennie trying to take it away. And the Cougars slap it back out into the Tri-City zone. Back for Shurstenka. They'll try it again. Makes a pass to Rennie. Whoops. Rennie in traffic, but the Americans tie up two Cougars and break it up. Jakes up the right wing boards. Jakes takes it in, finds Nibs. Top of the right circle, Nibs in traffic, goes to the corner. Nibs trying to throw it out to McNutt. Can't do it. Puck tied up beside the net. McNutt will get it. McNutt left circle out front. Jakes, bang. Get, nice save that time by Jarrett Burgoyne on Steve Jakes. Quick wrist shot from straight away. Tri-City right, Americans captain Steve Jakes point blank with the shot, sized it up, looked at Jarrett Burgoyne. It was just him and Burgoyne going at it. And Burgoyne comes up big with the glove save as he was trying to go for the upper corner of the left side. Steve Jakes sized it up and just didn't get it up there. 6.05 to go, third period here at Tri-Cities Coliseum. Kirk Williamson along with Tony Ott. Next action will be Wednesday, Spokaloo. Dean Reeves and Dirksen on now. 
with Podlevny and Virtue. Face off, one by Dean, Reeves the shot. It's weak and Burgoyne will poke it away. That one hit a stick out front. Now Dirksen and Reeves fight for the puck. Comes out to Terry Virtue. He shoots it down low for Dean. Burgoyne keeps it going around behind the net. Reeves wipes out, trying to get to it. Cougars have it. Cross ice pass left. Comes to Virtue, he picks it up. Virtue takes it in ahead of Dean. Dean with it, back to Virtue. Virtue into the corner, he'll leave it beside the net for Reeves. Reeves wheels around. Reeves tries to throw it out to Virtue. Pucks loose in the slot. Cougars knock it away. Down goes Dean, down goes Reeves. Reeves hooked and hauled down from behind. Now Reeves wants a piece of Burgoyne, and he's jumped on, whoops, Kyle, that was not a tactically bright thing to do. No, you don't not even. want to do that. Uh, what he did was he jumped on Burgoyne for, for hooking him. Burgoyne hooked him, jerked him down. But he, he turned around, yelled at Burgoyne, and started after him. And Blair Knox, all six foot, 475 pounds of him, or Blair Scott, rather, was right behind him. And uh, Scott had the uglies. Now Podlovny wants a piece of Scott. Uh-oh. Now Reeves is going after Scott. Dean and Podlovny are over there. Podlovny would happily take on all four of them. Now Virtue grabs on Sumner. Sumner. Reeves still wants out of the box. Dirksen's probably saving Reeves' life by keeping him in the box. What, had, what really had started was Jared Burgoyne stuck the stick out yeah, he and tripped sure up did. Kyle Reeves. Kyle Reeves was retaliation on his line. Turns around, goes after the netminder. But that is not the thing you do, and I don't care. Hey, if the Americans had a guy that was bothering Olaf Coles, well, Ole could probably stand up yeah. to him. Yeah. But Jared Burgoyne, looking for the help, got it from Scott uh, Blair Scott. And Blair Scott jumps all over Kyle Reeves. And well, he's still doing it down there in the box. Yeah, he sure is. We're going to take a quick time out. Americans leading 11-5 back on KTCR right after this. When you stop to think about it, it's amazing what television has become in a few short years. Who would have dreamed we'd have so much to choose from? So many new shows and so many chances to see the old favorites from the early days of television. How people watch television has certainly changed and how people decide what to watch is also changing. Very soon, your cable system will offer a remarkable innovation in programming information, Preview Guide. With Preview Guide, you see complete up-to-the-minute program listings on the bottom half of your television screen. On the top half, you get a glimpse of the future, previews of coming attractions, a chance to sample the cable menu. Television has changed, and who knows what the future will bring. But when you're making TV viewing decisions, all you need to know about the future is Preview Guide. Well, now, let's see what it's going to be. I, I think we're going to have a fistful of penalties, only one of them against the Cougars, and that's uh, going to be to Blair, to, uh, Blair Scott. Tri-Cities, I think, is going to get about three, but Lubney got the thumb. Here they come. For the Victoria Cougars, number one, Jarrett Burgoyne, two minutes for tripping. Oh, he got caught. Number 19, Scott Blair, two minutes for roughing. For the Tri-City Americans, number 17, Kyle Reeves, two minutes for roughing. Number three, David P Podlovny, two minutes for roughing, plus a 10-minute misconduct at 14.34. That's it? That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Reeves gets two for roughing. Glover gets two for roughing, plus a 10-minute misconduct. Burgoyne gets two for tripping. There is justice. And uh, Blair gets two for, uh, for roughing. All that at the uh, 1434 mark. And guess who's serving the penalty for Jared Burgoyne? Uh, Mr. Green. Green. <laughs> 526 to go in the hockey game. Americans leading the Cougars 11-5. All that comes out even. You can just write that off like it didn't happen except the referee Smith is over giving coach Gary Cunningham a chance to get two for himself because uh, he got called over to the bench. Now that's all, everybody's happy. 
Well, no, wait a minute. Larry Wu's coming back on the ice. I think they're saying that Green can't serve the penalty. Wu has to serve it. Okay. Wu has, somebody who was on the ice has to serve Burgoyne's penalty. That's exactly right, Kurt. And Larry Wu. And you hear the crowd. Wu! <laughs> Face off, won by Rankers. This could be a little bit fractious here in the last couple minutes. Back into the Cougars zone. Cipriano goes after it. Cross ice pass, left side Peters. Chopped at, knocked down by Virtue. Americans with it. Rankers, Rankers. Leaves it for Spenrath. Spenner and Rankers, Rankers shot, knocked away. Rankers in behind the net, out front. Levens, whoops, just missed Scotty Levens. And the Cougars bring it back, two on four. Across the slot, Seaton, leaving it there for Harrison. Harrison can't get his shot away. Out front, Peters, a drive, dribbles past Kolzik, whoop. Just hit the pipe, that could have been trouble. Cougars drop it back in behind the net again. Harrison, back out front, Peters, back to Harrison. Whoops, across the blue line, back forward, Cipriano. Board pass now, and it's cut down by Sandwith. Sandy trying to get it ahead to Spenraff. Leaves it there, Levens and Spenraff go after it. And uh, Dyer has it for the Cougars. Goes cross ice left, Bandera. Bandera gets dumped by Jakes, and the puck is back into the Tri-City zone. Bandera doesn't know whether he'd rather go after Jakes or the puck. Now it's shot into the Cougar zone, picked up by Terry Degner. Degner turns around, he gets chopped pretty hard. A bunch by Cipriano. Cipriano's been busy with that stick tonight. Cross ice pass right into the Tri-City zone. Kolzig will slap it right in the face of John Paduk. Up along the wall now, Sackick and Lindsay. Sackick and Lindsay take it in to Lindsay. Nice pass, Lindsay, well, he just overstated it. In traffic, Peters was there. Lindsay just couldn't quite get to it. Oh, boy, it's sure pretty to see these guys clicking, isn't it? It is. Their passing is just superb when they're on target. 350 remaining in the period. remaining in the period. Face off in the right circle in the Cougar zone. It'll be Deg it'll be Dean on the face off against Greenwood. Tri Cities leading 11-5 over the Victoria Cougars. Face off Cougar zone. Buck is down. One by the Americans, but picked up by the Cougars. Peters skates in. The Cougars work it out along the wall. Three on two. Here comes Victoria. Backhand pass. Bad pass by Greenwood. Stolen away by Shurstenka. Dan Shurstenka. Cross ice left to Jakes. Jakes brings it up the left wing boards. Finds his man De Dirksen. Dirksen back to Jake. Jake shot. Just over the net. Jakes hauled down. Goes up. Drops it in behind the net. Now to Dean. Dean out front. Spinrath went to the left side. Tried to get it to Dirksen. Dean has it. Dean out. Spinrath. His shot. Wide to the net right, comes off to Sandwith. Sandy will take one. Rebound goes down. Dean takes a whack at it. No, back behind the net. Sumner tries to get it out of there. He does. Finally to Buchanan. Trevor Buchanan brings it up. Three on two. Buchanan and Seaton along with Greenwood. Buchanan goes all the way to the right corner where he's tied up by Sandwith. And Dirksen takes the puck away. Whoops, giveaway right in the slot. Greenwood in traffic, though. He can't do anything with it. Now throws it toward the net. Misses, Jake's in behind the net, Jake's goes down. Puck is tied up, Jake's lands on top of the puck. 2.47 to go in the period. Remember that uh, Tony Ott's on his way over to the uh, Founders Club to bring you the, uh, the post-game show from the, from the Founders Club. Certainly we'll be talking with Greg Spinrath, who has four goals on the night, a career high for him. Now uh, they clear the penalty boxes. And with 2.47 to go, Americans leading 11-5 over the Victoria Cougars. Faceoff will come, right circle, Tri-City zone. Dyer on the faceoff against Steve McNutt. Puck is down. Dyer wins it. Cipriano gets a shot away behind the net. Back forward is Farrell. Scott Farrell back behind the net. Brings it up the right side. Farrell, three on two. Whoop, tried to headman McNutt. 
Gets in ahead of him, but Ritten, Nibs will get there. No icing call. Nibs outran Cipriano. Throws it out in the slot for Rennie. Burgoyne kicks it away. And the Cougars bring it up the right side. Dyer. Dyer with it. Two on three. Dyer tied up by McNutt. Nibs. They get it into the Cougar zone now. Dyer with it. McNutt knocks it away. McNutt has it. Gets it ahead to Rennie. Rennie. Two on one. Rennie. Taken off the play, though, hard by John Bentham. Rennie taken down by Bentham. The puck is tied up underneath Bentham's body, and they'll stop the play there. 2.04 to go in the third period here at Tri-Cities Coliseum. Next action for the Americans will be on Wednesday night in Spokane. The Americans go up to take on the Spokane Chiefs. Then on Friday and Saturday, the Kamloops Blazers are in town in what promises to be a pair of great games. Face off, left circle. Let's check. Is it Friday, Saturday, or Saturday, Sunday? Hang on. Friday, Saturday, Kamloops at Tri Cities. Rankers on the face off against Dean Dyer. Left circle, Cougar zone. Face off, won by Rankers. Shurstanka drives it in beside the net. Jakes from the point, goes in around behind the net, back out to neutralize. Dan Shurstanka cuts it down, board passes back into the zone. Knocked away by the Cougars. Dyer with it. But Rankers intercepts, gets it to Levens. Levens can't quite get to the puck. Back into the Cougar zone. Peters outlet pass to Dyer. Dyer gets checked off of by Jakes. And a roughing call coming up. <laughs> Referee Wes Smith. I don't know. You figure that one out. All of a sudden, Smith dumped Steve Jakes for roughing. Looked like a good open ice hit to me, but then. What do I know? 18-18, the time of the penalty. Cougars will have a power play to end the period, end the game. 11-5, Tri-Cities leading. Cougars power play. They're eighth of the night. They are one for seven. The Americans five of eight on the power play tonight. It's Dean and Levins with Sandwith and Virtue take the face off. Jim Dean against Larry Wu. Linesman marks the spot, and Dean wins the draw. Back for to Sandwith, but Wu chasing him hard. Sandwith firing it out, hits the body. Dean gets rid of it. Back into the Cougar zone. Burgoyne will leave it beside the net. As Levens races in on top of Burgoyne, he gets rid of it quickly. Virtue fires it right back into the Cougar zone. Minute 23 to go in the hockey game. Behind the net comes Rob Sumner. Sumner, cross ice left. Tried to get it to Buchanan. He can't get it. Virtue will have it in the American zone. Whoop. Buchanan takes it away from him. Wu, Wu out in front. But the Americans there to break up the play again. Degner firing it back into the Cougar zone. Minute four to go. Again, Sumner will start to break out. Degner's all over him. Cipriano with it. Back behind the net. Brings it up to John Baduk. Baduk, cross ice left. Got it to Larry Wu. Wu takes it into the zone. And there's Buchanan. He gets tied up by Degner. Buchanan with it in the left corner. Degner and Jake's all over him. Now comes to Degner. Degner steps up ahead, looking for Dean. Can't find him. Cougars have it back into the Tri-City zone. 35 seconds to play. Americans will no doubt win this one. Headman pass to Degner. Slaps it out along the wall. Cougars will break in again. Right to Cipriano. He brings it up. Blisters one and Coles it catches it. Leaves it beside the net for Jakes. And it's slapped back out into neutral ice. Back for it are the Cougars. Cipriano right side from Blair Scott. Now Cipriano lofts one up. Kolzik makes like a center fielder and catches it. And gives it to Jakes who drives it out of the zone. Four seconds left in the game. 11-5. The Americans will get the win over the Victoria Cougars. Once again, the final score. Tri-Cities 11, Victoria 5. Stay tuned for the post-game show coming up on AM 1340 KTCR. Not the best deal, but you don't know where. Well, don't play me if you haven't talked to the bear. Get down to the bear facts, the real nitty gritty. Get down to Bear Mart, you'll be sitting pretty. Well, credit is no problem if you work steady. Get yourself Bear Smart, Bear Mart.
now to the Founders Club and uh, Tony Ott and Tom Lathan. Hi, guys. How's it going, Kirk? And thank you very much. We're sitting here in the Founders Club, and boy, we're just packing them in here tonight. Got a lot of people here, and they're all looking at Greg Spinrath. They gave him a great round of applause as he walked through the door. And Greg, congratulations! A great victory tonight for the Americans, and also a very big win uh, or big night for you. Four goals and assists, five points. Hey, that's not too bad. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right. Now hey! Look at him. He didn't even break a sweat. Either. No, he didn't. It's amazing, he's, isn't it? He's not very hot at all. No, no. Greg, uh, tonight uh, the, the team uh, at first was down in that first period, 3-0. Uh, of course, a lot of people were talking about the fact that uh, the Americans coming off that very high emotional win on Friday night against Prince Albert would, would kind of take this team a little lightly. Uh, was that the case, uh, falling behind 3-0 after one? Yeah, uh, well, I think what happened was the players came into this game thinking, you know, Victoria's only had three victories this year, and, you know, last, game, last night, they, they played the last two nights, and they lost uh, both games with big scores, and we thought it was going to be a cakewalk tonight, and we came out, and, uh, you know, we didn't have that jump, and, uh, you know, they got a few goals, and uh, it was 3 nothing after the period, and Cozy came in and put us, put us in place, you know, he, he said, hey, you know, they are, they're not a bad club, you know, you got to play to beat them, and, I don't know, the second period we came out and scored a lot of goals and got back into the game. Well, you certainly did. You came out in that second period and uh, actually had six markers on the board. And it went on to uh, never look back after that, after you took the lead there in that second period. What, what is it that you have to do to yourself mentally? I know that you, you say that you guys actually did kind of overlook this team, but what is it that you have to really do with these uh, teams that come in here with these, these not well, not respectable records, I would say. 3-33 and 33 is not what you call yourself a, a good team right now, but what do you have to do mentally? I would well, uh, what I do to, personally myself is I look around the room and I, I say if, if I'm not going to play well, I'm letting down everyone else in the room. And that's how I look at, look at it, the situation, and uh, you know, it sort of brings my level intensity up so I won't let my teammates down and you know, try to go out there and do, it, do what I do best, you know, hitting and getting in the corners and if goal comes by, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. And tonight I got lucky. Well, you got four of them tonight and I believe that is your first time in your WHL career. Is that correct? Uh, yes, it is. All right. Well, congratulations there. <laughs> we want to <laughs> we pass the microphone around now. Tom Latham is standing up here with the microphone and it's just got a certain amount of cord to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you if you have a question to come on over here to the microphone and if we can get it back to where it's going. Yeah, if you got a question, Eric. Yeah, guess who we're right going to start with. Yeah. All right. How do you like scoring four, four goals in one game? Well, you know, it's a great feeling. And uh, if I could do it every night, I'd like to. But, you know, with <laughs> my type of style of game, uh, I don't think it's going to happen too often. So, you know, tonight will be a, a very relaxing evening for me, and <laughs> I'll just enjoy it. Did you find going down inside the into the slot area there a lot easier tonight than, say, against a Kamloops team? Uh, yeah, they're, you know, they're, uh, I think they only had two real experienced defensemen on, on defense there. And, you know, on the power play, I think I got three goals on the power play. And, you know, they weren't really using the body or the sticks to move me out, and, I, you know, they let me stand there better than the, uh, a top place team would. Well, I know, for, for example, on your, I believe, your second goal of the evening, uh, you basically camped out. You pitched a tent there right in front of the slot there and just stood there for, I, I don't know, I counted 10 seconds easy that nobody was even around you, and you picked up the puck and shot at home. And uh, that uh, doesn't happen too often against a better team. No, it doesn't. All right. More questions over here. Um, how do you know when to st shift change? That's a good question. Well, usually... Uh, <clears throat> What, you usually have a, a shift about 40, 45 seconds. When you feel tired or fatigued out there, you know, basically one guy will change. And, and if one guy goes off, then his line mates, you know, we know how to play with each other because we've been, you know, you practice every day with your line mates. So if you see one guy go off, usually all three guys will try to get off right away so that we'll come out there in groups of three. All right, Tom, we have some more people. How many hat tricks do you got all together right now? Uh, in my WHL career, I got two. I had one last year and tonight. This is first one this season. Uh, last season, it was about uh, almost the same time, wasn't it? Yeah, Santa Claus came through last year. That's right. Santa Claus gave you some scoring hands, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay, Tom. Who'd you learn to play hockey from? Well, um, I've learned from various coaches since I was, you know, three. I started skating when I was three and four. And, you know, I've had numerous coaches, probably about 11 or 12, who've all helped and contributed, you know, and teaching me how to play the game. 
All right, good question. The new rule they've got with the can't take your helmets off to fight, that causes a lot of hand injuries. Is that going to stop fighting altogether on the ice? I think what the rule is, is the rule is the league doesn't want the players taking the helmets off because if they fall down and hit their head on the ice, they could be severely injured. I think the rule is you can take your helmet off, but if you do get injured, in the, in, by, if you take it off yourself, you're going to have to pay for the hospital bills and whatever yourself. And you The know. insurance doesn't pick it up. Then. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of players, a lot, a lot of coaches will say, you know, we don't want, you know, you to pay, so keep your helmet on. But, you know. Well, have you noticed it? Does it, does well, it the hand injuries, are they going to be coming Yeah, more? they're going to be greater. But I think a lot of the fighters, you know, the guys who are going to fight are going to know that their hands are sore already, and they're going to try to remove the helmets by themselves. Like, I'll try to take off someone else's helmet before I start fighting. And, you know. <laughs> All right. And then the rest is history. Okay. We will not quote you on that. <laughs> How come the refs don't let you fight? Well, they do for, for a little bit until you fall down on the ice so that no one really gets hurt with a skate or, you know, hitting their head on the ice or something like that. The refs, you know, they let you fight for a bit because they don't want to get hit with a punch either, so. That's right, and they will uh, step in on some situations that I've seen that uh, they can, the linesman will take <laughs> a couple of them that are pretty tough. I see Tom is uh, inviting over... A couple of brave souls here. Well, now, All right. <laughs> now, what we have here tonight, and of course we'd like to welcome a group of Victoria Cougars Booster fans have made the trip down here, and uh, welcome to the Tri-Cities fans. All right. Yeah. We're, we're just wondering what you do with all the hats they're throwing on the ice. Well, tonight they're all sitting in my stall, and uh, the players mobbed it and looked for the best ones tonight already, and I... I they're probably all gone right now. And we just wanted to thank you and thank you guys for your hospitality and your booster club took us out and we had a really great time while we were here and thanks a lot. Well, thank you for coming down here tonight. <laughs> Greg, fantastic game tonight and of course uh, the big game, uh, again, a road contest coming up on Wednesday night, a game that uh, in Spokane, uh, you guys feel a little probably a lot of revenge coming up on that one, don't you? Oh yeah, we're going to get back at it, uh, practice for a couple days, and we know we can win in Spokane, and we are going to on Wednesday. All right, well, you can put that one down. Greg Spenrath has a win in the books on Wednesday night. We'll take a time out here. Greg Spenrath, again, thanks a lot. Good game tonight. We'll take the time out. We'll come back. We're into Founders Club. We'll talk with Scotty Levins when we return on this KTCR Cable 15 broadcast. We're back up here in the Founders Club. I'm Tony Yacht, joined by big winger Scott Levins who is uh, coming off a fantastic game, and a game that you may not see him in the box scores tomorrow, fans. He did not have any points as what it, what it would be set up as to look at, but one thing that he does have, and I think that the team is uh, really noticing too, is this fact is his hustle. And his hustle was out there tonight, used the body a lot, was a, a definite cog in the American's wheel tonight. And of course, you guys can give him a great round of applause for a great game that he had tonight. Scott, a, a game where we talked about with Greg uh, just a second ago that the team basically took 20 minutes to show up, didn't they? Yeah, we did. We had to get woke up there. Um, but we're explosive as we showed. I mean, that was great in the second period there. Well, the second period was absolutely fantastic. There's only been two other games this season that uh, you've scored six goals in a second period and uh, one game that you've scored seven. So the second period definitely seems to be your guys' period. You, you fall behind or tied or right, it, it's very close in the first, but then that second period is basically all American. Yeah, uh, you're right. Now, what is it about the, the, your style? Your, your style is uh, you're big, you like to get down there in the corners, you like to really work with your body. Uh, did you find it easier tonight against a Victoria club or is it uh, about the same with everybody that you play against? Uh, yeah, it's a little easier because they weren't they aren't very big or anything and they don't have a lot of guys that like to take the body So they shy away from it a lot, but it's about the same really with all teams How do you feel after a game? I mean you do you hit the whirlpool bath after a game like that? <laughs> yeah <laughs> For sure. Yeah, I know that uh, you go through a lot of exercise out there and uh, one of the things that I'm sure that coach Kozabak stresses on with you guys is to keep your bodies in shape You do a lot of weights yeah, we work out every day that we don't have a game. When we have a game, we got to take a day off, you know, because you get sore and everything. Uh -huh. Now, during the course of the season, I'm sure that the, the type of diet that you guys have, too, is in, in direct relation to how, how fit you guys are. You guys uh, eat a lot of uh, starchy foods the day before a game or day of a game. How do you guys do that? Um, anything you can get your hands on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get some food in your stomach, right. yeah? All right. Tom, we got some questions I'm out here. I'm missing a Buick. I don't know if you see that. Scott, you're the only hockey player I've seen with all your teeth. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we got a question right over here. We got some questions back over here. All right, come on. How do you feel after banging the persons in the wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you big bully, my goodness. <laughs> you got a little fan there that wants to know how it feels. Uh, it feels all right, actually. You know, it feels good, especially if you knock the guy down. Think, you know, you look, you look pretty good, so it's fun. Well, especially here at home when you yeah. got 6,000 people that are hey. booing off for you, right? <laughs> that helps. All right. Got some more questions over here? Yeah, um, when you, uh, like, when the goalie pushed that one guy around in, on the thing, how come he didn't get um, put out of the game? I mean, get in a penalty. I think you're referring to the time when uh, Burgoyne used the stick to trip up Kyle Reeves? Uh, did, did the goalie get a penalty on that? Yeah, the he goalie got did get a penalty. On that, yeah, right. um, they can't put a goalie in the penalty box. They, they uh, take another player off the ice on his team and put him in for him. Because they, you know, I don't know why they, they just can't. It's what only would two goalies. what would constitute a goaltender to be thrown from a game with a stick? Uh, it has to be pretty intentional, right? Yeah, yeah, it has to be something that'll get a game misconduct, mm -hmm. like a okay. spearing or something. All right, another question. Have you heard from Rob Cross and how is he doing? Have you um, heard from Rob? No, I haven't. I haven't heard from Rob, but uh, I heard he had a really good game against Kamloops when they won. That's right. And uh, then Donnie Bush, and uh, I guess they were the stands out, standouts. Under yeah, I understand that uh, Rob Krause was uh, number three star in that game, so that's uh, not too bad for Rob Krause. Got some other questions here real quickly for Scott Levins. There he goes. How do you like to get slammed way in the, way in the um, walls? <laughs> How do I like it? How do you like it? Uh, the other side. No, that's <laughs> not good. <laughs> well, now, now, here's something that a lot of fans are probably wondering too, especially the fans that travel to other other rinks. They see the boards that are, they, that some of them Give are away. giveaway yeah. boards. Some of them are real stiff like ours. Uh, which ones do you prefer the most? Oh, it doesn't matter. I like the giveaway a lot because you, know, you can take a lot of hits and you don't even feel it, but. How's our boards? Are they are they hard? Are they I, I like them the best, really. They're about perfect. They're not really hard. They're not really soft. They Where's your favorite spot? Bit. Is it in the corner or down behind the net? <laughs> I don't know. Well, the, one, the reason I ask that is because behind our net, uh, uh, down at the Zamboni side, boy, that thing gives quite a bit down there. Yeah, it does. You're right. Yeah. So I was just kind of curious here. We got a question. One more question here. What do you think about the fans here? They're great. Best I've ever seen. That's for sure. And it makes a difference, too, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, a lot. All right. We'll take the time out right here. Scott, congratulations. A great contest tonight for you guys from the Americans. And uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing some action from you on Wednesday night against Spokane. Yeah, thanks. All right. Scott Levins for, uh, with the Trice to the Americans. We'll take the time out. We'll come back, talk to Coach Rick Kozabak. We'll return in one minute. <laughs> 